for carelessness we must pray lift your voice and pray in tongues for a while make sure you participate everybody don't be tired we are praying young and old everyone pray are you praying hallelujah Anointing for Anointing for Let the power of the Holy Ghost to sing it as a prayer from the depth of your heart. Our family members are depending on us not our preaching the activity of the power of God upon our lives there are people standing here let me tell you listen this thing that I saw there are families I know I saw it happening to in that vision and I like you to pray you are not desiring the anointing out of covetousness you need it there are there are thrones and dominions that must be subdued an apostle Joshua Selman may not be there. The goal is not to have one superstar. The goal is that you carry fire and go to your regions and begin to speak the purposes of God. And while you are doing that, God will compel men to lift you. It has nothing to do with ministry. Please, I'd like you to pray and say, Father, let a strange unction fall upon my life. Oh, let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. In this season, they that will survive must be men of power authentic unction unction beyond imagination unction beyond argument unction beyond argument unction beyond argument ta 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 ba ta ka parakata lord send that fire upon my life send that fire upon my gifts send that fire upon my degree send that fire upon my phd send that fire upon my business send that fire upon my company send that fire upon my church send that fire 
upon my family Oh yes, send that fire upon my life. Send that unction upon my life. The earnest expectation of creation awaits my manifestation. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. 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 Hallelujah. Listen, listen. One encounter with the anointing can give you an open door that your lifetime will not exhaust it if you believe what I'm telling you. One encounter, one, one encounter can open a financial door for you that will wipe your tears. One encounter can make you a friend to somebody who will pay your being a friend with him forever one encounter listen listen hallelujah i'd like you to pray a prayer you've heard us pray it here but i want you to pray it with all your heart everyone appointed to reward my grace i compel them to appear go ahead and pray it's not enough to have an anointing there are men who can reward your grace there are institutions send them oh god to koinonia send them to your people men and women who need what to carry your entrepreneurial anointing your leadership anointing your spirit of motherhood send them to my life oh god men and women who have what it takes hallelujah hallelujah listen listen look up look up I know very anointed men and women they love God passionately but they have never met the people assigned to bless them you don't preach for money you don't carry the anointing just for money but you see God designed it in such a way that as you dispense the realities of the kingdom there is a feedback system that should empower you so you continue being effective are we together listen the day you stand in the presence you see many of us are around people who love our gifts but do not have the grace to reward it are we together you can labor and pray and fast and go and preach somewhere and someone will pat your back and say wow you are an awesome man of god i've never seen a man of god in this state like you that's not enough reward but there is a way you can have an encounter and someone will come and bring a generator buy you a car and say what does it take to stop you from thinking about the finances if you are such a voice i should sponsor you rising to any level there are men like that there are some of us the value you have now let me tell you sincerely the value you have now you is is enough for you to be blessed forever but you have not encountered those who have what it takes listen there are pastors hear me who until you preach somewhere where your helpers are that's what will expand your church all of a sudden it will be like they are hearing you for the first time yes i know there are millions of men of god in nigeria but there are others assigned to honor you 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 can be singing 
singing songs laboring and traveling from pillar to post but if you can discern god can send you to somebody who has the means but needs your music when it was time for the lifting of david a spirit was upon saul and saul needed a musician to drive it all of a sudden they went and fished out david how many times did david play for saul when he played just once saul loved him there are circles that i have entered and i ministered once and god connected me to people who will bless me forever and that day wasn't even as if i was saying anything it was just that god connected me to people who will be blessed tomorrow we're in asaba a mighty meeting happening in the stadium and we are going to minister they started preparing for this meeting tomorrow one year one year they came to book one year in advance they have been praying logistics publicity all over the city and we are going to go and storm the gates of hell there is some you are not assigned everywhere look you need to pray that those assigned to honor what you carry otherwise you'll be frustrated trying to be everything to anybody lift your voice one more time and say direct them oh god direct them direct them to me oh in this season direct my blessers direct those you have sent to be blessed by my ministry direct those who have been sent to be blessed by my business Shabakata Boshu on the Prozasike Ruta Sabarikata direct them you are a prophet but not to everyone that God will bring the ears of those who have been anointed to hear your voice you are an apostle not to everyone that God will direct the people, the institutions. Hallelujah. We're going to be praying that in this season, please hear me, that in this season God will grant you grace to have passion for the house of God that you will not allow the devil corner you somewhere and destroy you and destroy your family he said as for me and my house I don't know about you but as for me I have made up but the Bible says they that be planted no flimsy excuses oh we are tired today they that be planted in the house of God they will flourish in the courts of our God I like you to pray passionately and say Lord grace and passion for your house grace and passion grace and passion for your house supernatural grace supernatural passion for your house for your house for your house hallelujah hallelujah we are rounding up one category of people who will be exempted from any nonsense in this season are passionate and addicted soul winners listen listen there was a time they needed money to pay for tax it was a period that they needed money desperately they had come to collect tax and jesus said go and catch fish and fish in the bible is symbolic of souls when they caught those souls in that mission work they found money as they were preaching god provided a way as they were preaching fishers of men they went to fish and they said open the mouth of that fish as that fish testifies the greatness of God and confesses with his mouth the Lordship of Christ you engage a law automatically that brings you wealth hear me please believe what I'm saying 
there are many people here who love God we are prayer warriors but we are not so winners you stand up alone and drag yourself to koinonia you wave your roommates you wave your family members you come here and get blessed while you are getting blessed the devil is using them to destroy your blessing you go back home a soul winner is an intercessor lord you must change my family members there are people who can come on friday and say look i'm going around this place have you heard about koinonia you've never really come you see this this our shame big boy big girl there are no big boys and big girls in the kingdom it takes passion when you are doggedly involved in soul winning you schedule seasons of exemption i can tell you this i can tell you this are we together you are in your office you are there and you leave every other person someone tells you uh -uh, um the devil is trying to manipulate my life or god jordan did something today that blessed me so so much some people came to his shop to buy books and the way they began to talk at once he knew it was a demonic situation god has given you spiritual intelligence there is a way you hear people talk what they are saying in the realm of the spirit is i need help you just listen to them and say bye bye the moment they began to talk you know oga jordan said this and that they wanted to see me and he said oh it may not be easy to see me. but he bought communion and took a bike and came and said i should pray on the communion and returned it back and gave the people and i was looking at him i said why won't he explode let me tell you if god if your life becomes an epitome of support for god's interest forget about begging this is the god i serve you may not know all you need to know but that your life can find space to bring god this is how this ministry started every night somebody was dragging somebody come and get filled with the holy ghost come and get born again you may not have the power to change them but you have what it takes to invite them some of you 50 naira is what you need to draw a soul ah koinonia has a crowd it's not about competition of crowd it's about destinies that must change are we together what's wrong with calling your loved ones and say there is there is a platform now to hear this online since you think you are too sick to come connect to the miracle service you see let me tell you something this is what we do that produces some of the results anybody that is too big to win souls is too big to experience the favor of god if you are too big to win souls too big to win souls ah i preached and they insulted me so what didn't jesus say it blessed are you when men persecute and revile you rejoice for so they did the prophets and the rest you have social media platforms that you can use as platforms to draw people to the house of god where they can be blessed you see until you see yourself as part of what god is doing you are not entitled to his blessings when you see yourself as somebody who just comes for koinonia leave the workers and the ministers when you exempt yourself you also exempt yourself from that covenant of blessing he said if you are the children of abraham you will do the works of abraham i'd like you to pray before i speak over our lives lord grace to be intentional about saving people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray grace to be a conduit for someone to be filled with the holy ghost grace to be a channel for someone to receive the teachings that will change their life hallelujah please lift your hands i want to pray for you and i want you to believe it praise the lord this prayer 
it's, it's not just I know that I pray in partitions every time don't you think you are getting the same thing you see one thing with grace is when it comes yes I know that some of us it's not yet time for manifestation but you can begin to do something with it are we together one day instead of dragging somebody to go for prayer department prayer before the prayer department teach the person on the baptism in the Holy Ghost and try to lay hands on the person by yourself before you go everybody must have room to start something if someone is sick don't just say here is apostles number here is head of department prayer here is a sister head of department here is a Jimmy or pastor Femi or pastor Alpha or every any any other person no you can tell him look I agree with you I am part of a family that has a healing anointing and I want to agree with you if you pray with the person and nothing happens there's nothing to be embarrassed about everybody you see had an occasion to begin to exercise themselves anointings are useless if you are not ready to use them God does not waste he said gather the fragments that there be no waste are we together I want to pray for you there are three things I'm going to pray for you the anointing for uncommon wisdom that's the first thing I'll pray for you let me tell you I know many foolish people it's not by age I have seen this ancient wisdom upon my life as young as I look I have seen it I know it is real I saw it in people I coveted it with my heart and the day it landed upon me I knew the anointing for wisdom strategies Two, the anointing for favor you need favor in this season favor is not when you do things by yourself favor is when God raises men to do things for you it's not about having money it's about the appearance of men in your life to wipe your tears it's called favor number three the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost to provide solutions to people there are sick people there are oppressed people waiting for Joshua Selman to heal everybody's idolatry that's not God's design God's design is that you become an extension of what we represent that when we cannot be there you can arise they tell you a woman is failing to give birth you lay hands on her stomach and ask her to give birth there and then no CS it has nothing to do with being a pastor or being a prophet you don't need to carry any ministry you just need to carry the spirit of grace lift your hands the spirit of wisdom spirit of wisdom there is a level of wisdom that is beyond age it's not found in the realm of men it comes from heaven job was asked a question when cometh this wisdom where is it where is it they ask the place of the dead and he says it's not with us we don't know where it is he said only god knows the place thereof hmm? whose price is higher than rubies he said do not wisdom cry her price is far above rubies right he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness I pray for you in the name of Jesus the grace for supernatural wisdom uncommon wisdom let it come upon your life in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus from today you begin to function at a frequency of wisdom that no man will begin to gain say or resist number two the bible says all who saw esther loved her favor there is such a thing as favor there is such a thing as divine supernatural not man-made arranged favor favor from strangers when those who know you favor you it makes sense when a stranger is moved by the holy ghost to serve the purposes of God in your life, your business, and your ministry, then you know that that's favor. Receive that grace for favor. Receive that grace for favor. Receive that grace for favor. Listen, some of you, before the end of this night, 
strange testimonies strange testimonies you are thinking of buying a bible someone brings it you are thinking of buying something someone brings it now that's favor you are looking for a place to pray someone says i have my room anytime you need to pray i give you that's favor you are trusting god to travel for a meeting somewhere you are stranded in car someone says i will sponsor you pay for your flight and bring you back receive that order of testimonies in the name of jesus christ oh it will come upon you believe me believe me you will carry it bodily and go out with it hallelujah the last prayer lift your hands this one will come upon you big listen we need miracles signs and wonders the ministry of miracles has not ended signs and wonders the sick healed the oppressed delivered you command breakthroughs in the lives and destinies of men don't just waste words as you speak to people you influence the realm of the spirit to provide solutions for people lift your hands father i pray over your people that ordinary life that ordinary preaching that doing things ordinary from today step into the supernatural step into the supernatural step into the supernatural the unction for signs wonders and miracles let it come upon your life right now the ability to see the ability to speak the prophetic word of god ah, yeah, 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 yeah. it will come on some of you i release it upon you in the name of jesus listen some of you from today as you stand close to people just contact with them it will be like a register open in the realm of the spirit receive that grace in the name of jesus I pray for you the way God can have respect for the prayer of a man and solve another person's problem because of who prayed in the Bible God had respect for the prayers of men Elijah prayed right what it was Elijah that prayed that God will open the eyes of his servant he didn't ask the servant whether he had faith he had a covenant of answered prayer and because of it a man's eyes was open i pray for you in the name of jesus christ one more time may your eyes be open may your eyes be open hallelujah before anything will happen to you and to your loved ones may it never escape your vista you will see it hallelujah and i want to pray for people who the devil has manipulated their visions to a point that they no longer trust what they see you started seeing well but the devil wanting to confuse you shakatabata i tell you i see an anointing coming on people the devil wanted to confuse you and started aberrating your vision and what you started seeing stopped coming to pass in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now receive clarity 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 by the power of the holy ghost we correct that anomaly in the name of jesus i don't know the spirit that is lingering around the body of christ giving men bad visions taking advantage of their prophetic dimensions and confusing them so that their words will not be heard and so that their visions will not be seen some of you now you have closed yourself to visions because the things you saw look corrupted i pray for you again 
may that spirit that manipulates your visions be casted out of your life right now give me one minute the last prayer point now look at me one of the most frustrating things about the prophetic is to see things and not have the power to make them happen are we together the apex of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension i can see that god wants to bless pastor alpha but do i have the power to transport that reality you can see that you are already a millionaire in the spirit but do you have the unction that it takes capacity to draw things from the spirit to find expression so let me tell you because many of us do not have capacity the devil has made rubbish of our ministries because you prophesy to men and what you saw is true but it never happens and the devil says you see this person is lying and over time you have seen that your seeing is correct but the unction to establish it in the physical realm is not there but i pray for you not only will you see not only will you speak power to draw it to pass i release it upon you 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 hallelujah prophecy whets the appetite of men it takes power to make it happen the creative power of god by this time tomorrow it was not a suggestion it was created prophetically go and come back with your miracle child that's creation so god can show me that Shadrach should enter a dimension in the spirit but do I have the unction to make that chapter in the spirit manifest? That's authentic power. One more time, I pray for you. Everything that makes your prophecy barren of manifestation, I command it to dry up right now. I command it to dry up right now. I command it to dry up right now. You will speak to men and it will happen speedily. You will speak to men and it will happen speedily. Hallelujah. 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 Obtained promises. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou received it and thou shall have it listen in the next two minutes i'd like you to receive things in the spirit the things that the bible said please don't take casual this opportunity we're operating under an anointing i'd like you to declare receive by faith in the name of jesus receive mantles receive anointings receive open doors receive favors receive bl blessings receive graces in the name of jesus receive ease That you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah praise the lord we're wrapping up now please i'd like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life 
Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and make decrees. Lift up your heads. Oh ye gates. Matosh kaparantas kamalata. Lift up your heads. I command close doors be open in the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David and I command the doors open that no man will shock. I decree and declare my path is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter unto the perfect day I declare and declare I shall not die I live I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield God is a with favor like a shield in the name of Jesus I go from glory to glory I go from power to power I go from grace to grace from anointing to anointing from wisdom to wisdom koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the Lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it bless your children bless your wife bless your husband bless your home bless your finances bless your spiritual life we declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. No failure with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalabaruza siaka paruza zik ende prato salagada brada gada bush shkabarato sabrande ge parusia tabaladaba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of Jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev Shalabarato Zagabarado Jedekas and Tekele Barato Sabaroto Shubahasa and Delegrando Sadabaru Sedias Rabagabaruda Sige Barudisias and Glato Sabrada Baratus Yatash in the name of Jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah in the name of Jesus agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. and the apostle says Lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son 
father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus and lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time no matter what you dominate if you do not dominate time you are not walking in dominion and i will restore the years many of us we've wasted time we've wasted opportunities in the name of jesus let there be restoration yeah. hallelujah now i pray for you listen every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors 
but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a car that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings 
I like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and I know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life I'm like a spiritual archaeologist I thank God for that which is at work but I search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place and if you can believe you will be surprised you see I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this you know that I love you you are my people I'm committed to your growth please listen to me <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor I have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of God but I don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of God comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hephzibah. You become a delight. A delight in the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints, I prophesy upon you, let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus I declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the Bible says 
and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands, your ministry, your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus, enjoy their ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for every dead vision, every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate opened it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it Ephata, be open be open be open be open In the name of jesus hear me i prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life we are done he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead harusa barashka baranda sibeta in the name of jesus come back to life now <laughs> hallelujah 
the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday and i open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation we cannot just stand coronavirus we know is a spirit it's not a virus can we agree we stand in agreement as the church of the lord jesus christ the ecclesia the body of christ we speak over the spiritual borders of nigeria the bible says pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we decree and declare we banish the workings of evil from our territory in the name of jesus the virus dies and it leaves our borders and we pray for other nations of the world because he says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed we use china as a point of contact the u.s and there are people here u.s uk whatever nation you are standing representing we decree and declare coronavirus in the name of jesus we banish you from the nations of the earth the name that is above all names i prophesy to everyone who is trusting god for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of god may you hear the voice of the lord in the name of jesus i prophesy clarity in the name of jesus you don't have to bring them out just just leave them you don't have to bring them out again we're out of time i prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for every bond here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. 
by the blood of Jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters I open your marital doors now in the name of Jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life may the Lord change your story hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus the anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't preach. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when god speaks there must be job in the name of the lord jesus wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man tato soto bala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah i pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place i declare to you according to the word of the lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child i speak it I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah so that no man will lift up his head he said but i have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now Limitations be broken now. Limitations. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul he said as you return you will see three men holding bread but two of them will give it to you does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves in the name that is above all names the favor of God 
that can end the struggles in a man's life please believe the prayer i'm praying for you please believe it it's not by power there is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of god therefore in the name that is above all names i prophesy receive favor favor let the esther anointing come upon you now favor with men favor with god favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakatoposku brindikitabalar in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel 
I command life to it now. I command life now. I command life now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command life now. Hallelujah. Everyone in ministry in this place. Kabo Suta Lamusiata. I pray for you. Let the doors of opportunity be opened up to you. You were not designed to market yourself. The Bible said, let her walk speak for her at the gates. I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you. Let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every struggle in any area of ministry, we call it to end now. In the name of Jesus. And anyone who is in ministry and you are confused, you really don't know where you stand. You don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing. In the name that is above all names, let there be clarity. Absolute clarity. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands. I want to pray for your finances. In the name that is above all names. First and foremost, I cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance. I command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of Jesus. I cause the spirit of greed. Let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus. Grace for you to be a faithful tither. Grace for you to be a faithful giver. Grace for you to be a kingdom investor. May God give you wisdom. May God give you favor. May God bless the works of your hands. Therefore, I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God gives you wisdom. God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone here who is trusting God and is saying, Lord, restore. Everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying, Lord, if there was a way I can turn the hands of time, I prophesy to you. There is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost. In the name of Jesus, opportunity for favor, receive it. Opportunity for healthy connections. Every opportunity in your life that has been wasted, by the favor and the mercy of God, we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray finally, whatever has made you cry, in the name that is above all names, whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my god arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their god in the name that is above all names that god will arise for you my god will arise for you my God will arise for you. Now hold on. There is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now. Lift your hands. Father, as many of those people right now, right now, right now, is going to come as fire. I see liquid fire in the spirit. Go ahead and shout Jesus once. One to go. Receive it. The healing anointing, the healing anointing, the healing anointing. Receive it now, inside and outside. Receive it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone hold Shade, hold Shade so she doesn't fall. Hold her, but the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a scary because it has always been there. It has always been there. Three of you hold your hands. Ken, Kenyan, promise. Hold your hands. Look at me in the name of Jesus. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into new levels. New levels of the anointing. New levels of the power of the Spirit. New dimensions in the Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people. Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you is happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two. Prayer requests are being answered supernaturally. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Jam, jam request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let I every prayer like request so come in on my head. And for yeah, those yeah, streaming yeah, online, yeah, 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 yeah. I change it to be testimonies Please now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request believe in the Lord and that and which is established will hear the voice of believe God. his prophets become testimonies and, shall and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give God thanks it is done hallelujah please as I speak I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost 
right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see i cause that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 hallelujah hallelujah hear me hear me any altar of darkness hear me i don't care where it's coming from that is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members 
I remove that embargo of disfavor now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Shake it, take it, take it. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life, leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it doeth prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads 
of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released I command peace I command prosperity I command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of god must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every
every yoke of darkness must give way right now every spell and every enchantment man te lakatosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three Go press kete. now now i command those powers i command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now marco pokotos in the name of jesus i command judgment judgment every altar every yoke outside there are angels moving outside there are angels with mighty swords outside no power that ties your destiny will remain tonight hallelujah i see the angels of the lord moving outside all those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside jesus in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven strength wisdom coming from heaven receive it right now supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom
Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but he stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration hallelujah there is a grace i feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate capacity to understand capacity to understand hallelujah hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let it come on them oh god believe it let it come on them oh god let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet, rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire, fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Those in ministry help them. Shiparo doso koto baria, lekete koto so bless kala baria ta. Zabra te so so bless koto. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy 
it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to beyond church beyond church beyond church hallelujah ah! i'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people it's a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah if you came with anything that is a point of contact whether a document certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use i want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the lord is lifting that person to the next level i'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh god right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands ready to speak now in the name that is above all names i prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a let a grace the power of performance that makes things to work i release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. 
Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously i opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of jesus i introduce an anointing to that family and i command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. Yeah. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare may your miracle job find you believe what you are hearing may your miracle job find you in the name of jesus now i pray for anyone here having any infirmity i don't care what it is i don't care how long any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of god for healing will touch people in the name of jesus i command the healed now 
Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus. Between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from home. Please believe me. I say it again between now and the next seven days. I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies. It doesn't take time. It takes his anointing. Everything that your hands have done and it did not work. I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer. I command today become a result producer. Become a result producer. Become a proof producer. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life. Every pending issue. Any kind of pending issue. Right now. Issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit. And will not be resolved. I decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone Shake it us here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you, and lift your mother, and lift your father, and wipe your tears, in the name of Jesus, I stand by the God of heaven whose I am, and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks, strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the Lord I command it to come back to life now. I want to pray. Please drop your hands. Just the brothers, lift your hands. I want to release upon you grace for establishment. Listen. If you are wise, you will pay attention to what I'm saying. There is a grace that establishes men. Are we together now? Establishment is where you gain stability in life. Financially, are we together? Relationally, 
spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ whose i am and whom i serve i decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends help us to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child two more prayers and we're done tonight the lord is ministering to me the lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of jesus i command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of jesus i command your fruitful vine to become a forest i say it again in the name of jesus i command your desert to be a fruitful vine i command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in one minute i want you to ask the lord for any one thing i'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray i'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the lord and watch it happen i release my faith with you in the name of jesus i release my faith with you ask the lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the god of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living god what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what he will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of god are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah whatever it is that you have asked the lord i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony 
in the name of Jesus Christ I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony listen the Bible says and whatsoever Adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ no matter how impossible it is may the God of all flesh the God of Jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit like a presence walking literally literally I mean what I'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of God leading you in the name of Jesus I activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit I program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like Benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your place and you will carry strange fire in the name of Jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you I'm sorry I'm the one who stole your laptop I'm sorry I'm the one who took this from you I'm sorry because of the presence of God listen by this new dimension of encounter I command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts untouchable by arm robbers in the name of Jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your God your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of God the Bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight God will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah father I asked finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything 
that has made men mock God in your life I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart I give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus Pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man 
that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you the Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness I stand by the God of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust God it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around I'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life may that grace rest upon you now prepared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month i release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some canal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. That has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you 
I pray for every man and every woman of God here. The errands and the horse that will hold your hands. Loyal men indeed. May God give them to you. here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now <laughs> thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year i'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders you face speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the holy ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus For anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion the creative and prophetic power doors of delay I command you be open in the name of us delay be gone delay be gone delay delay in marriage delay in jobs I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage, every academic bondage, Kateka Leko Sopa, Repete Latu Zabadi Adaka. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Not onefold. Not twofold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized any student here who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever i change it 
in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every womb called Barry I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands on every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are Favor, 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 favor. Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate. And the Lord is telling me, let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you, by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it 
I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit
everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Are we together? It's a very serious prayer we're going to pray now. You're going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me, it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to go. Listen. As you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the lord i cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling i cast every spirit i cast every devil i cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. Shamakatos Kadabash. If you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil. Mata kota shamalata. Shabras katawa reke to shayala malakata. In the name of Jesus, there's no place for you in my mind. There's no place for you in my life. I come against ordinances. fibroid I'm 
seeing the Lord healing now. The Lord is healing fibroid. The Lord is healing fibroid in the name of Jesus. I command that devil. The Lord is healing fibroid. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's living people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can tear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished is a strong spirit of delay i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the lord let god's people go now one two three i command that spirit go now go now Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. Yeah. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah the lord is showing me a group of people you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things 
and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus shakatos emprantas kanasone hashamariakata shakras kotevakatosa varekata eko shamama sanadakata rekete kete kete eskamara katos kaba zatia 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 shekene kosha prakatos karikata in the name that is above all names i decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. on please the Lord is showing me something I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear and the Lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life I'm not saying you waste it you can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady i'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now.
let there be restoration now the Lord is showing me someone every time you see someone die in the dream a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that so i don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare all death where is thy sting all grave where is thy victory i prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the holy ghost i command that death to pass over your family i command that death to pass over your family Just, just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now this has to do with a group of ladies listen there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady. But every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like, it's like, um, it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter is a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now ah, hold on there is a lady a physical person appeared to you not a dream i'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that devil that spirit in the name of Jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit 
every pattern of reoccurring infirmity, reoccurring sickness, whether it's a blood related disease, every pattern, I say it again, of reoccurring sickness, reoccurring disease, right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command the spirit responsible, lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit I, my god i'm seeing a sword Right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them Jesus look at what is happening there in the name of Jesus you know my voice I was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God I declare right now in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your christian integrity and making god's word look like a lie in the name of jesus fire i'm seeing fire that's what i'm seeing from heaven i'm praying for you in the spirit in the name of Jesus I cause the plague of witchcraft I cause the plague of witchcraft in the name of Jesus every voice speaking against everyone's destiny the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible says he nailed it to the cross i declare and i decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the father i cause every power that is not of god in the name of jesus christ i reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family i command a reversal now in the name of jesus and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of christ release help them please everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor God has shown you dreams your children, your breakthrough your lifting, your speed, your job your marriage in the name of Jesus I release it to your hands now become a possessor I release it to your hands now become a possessor and I pray for you the Bible says when you catch a thief he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing can I speak restoration let me tell you there are many of us you have lost things some you have lost time Joshua said son go back move go back I prophesy to you 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou received it and thou shalt have it. Listen. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said, please don't take casual this opportunity. We're operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare, receive by faith in the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive ble blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus, receive ease. That you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah i'd like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray Open your mouth and make decrees. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Matosh kaparantas kamalaka. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will shut. I decree and declare my power is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I live I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it bless your children bless your wife bless your husband bless your home bless your finances bless your spiritual life we 
declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. No failure in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the holy ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost turn again the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev shalabarato zagabarado jenekas and tekele barato sabaroto shubahasa and delegrando sadabaru sedias Krabaga baruda sige baru dizias Englato saprada baratu ziatash In the name of Jesus Turn situations around We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah In the name of Jesus Agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. And the apostle says Lord Behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and Lord we bring them under judgment in the name of Jesus and Lord I stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever My Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and they said among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for us. He says, the Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. We decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here, let it be turned like the streams of the south. The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. Hallelujah. Now, I pray for you. Listen. 
every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply 
it's true that a woman can be frying a kara and yet build from that business it's not a kara that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the speed rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place. And if you can believe, you will be surprised. You see, I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this. You know that I love you. You are my people. I'm committed to your growth. Please listen to me. <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but i don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of tyre and sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does 
it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hephzibah you become a delight a delight in the name of Jesus the favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints I prophesy upon you let it rest on your life now Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus I declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not God the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for Joseph not God there are men who can help men all blessings come from God through men to men I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord I pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression I give it life right now in the name of Jesus can I pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the Lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house I pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of God <laughs> hallelujah Acts chapter 12 the Bible says on account of the gospel Peter was caught after James was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the Bible says and then it says that the angel of the Lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led Peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up 
and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it Ephata, be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday and i open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation i prophesy to everyone who is trusting god for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of god may you hear the voice of the lord in the name of jesus I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction, either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord redirect your steps now. May the Lord redirect your steps now. May the Lord redirect your steps now. Anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures. The Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to thrive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names 
may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for every board here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Manta kaka boko to baladaba. Mambre to skusete bele. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of jesus the anointing that distinguishes you man so from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't break. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when god speaks there must be job in the name of the lord jesus wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah I pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place I declare to you according to the word of the Lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child I speak it I establish it in the spirit Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel against Jerusalem 
and against Judah so that no man will lift up his head he said but I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the Lord told me he will bring breakthrough I want to prophesy it now, now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of God break every limitation now hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around cycles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of Jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed I provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of Jesus may the fire of God May the fire of the Holy Ghost bring advancement in every family represented here. I command every family make progress. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Move forward. Hallelujah. I speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword 
in the name of Jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakato bosku prendiki debalal in the name of Jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names I command be free from it now 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 therefore I release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of Jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of Ezekiel I command life to it now I command life now I command life now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place Kabo Suta Lamusiata I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the Bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of Jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of Jesus now lift up your hands I want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost I cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance I command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of Jesus I cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may God give you wisdom may God give you favor may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Whatever has made you cry, in the name that is above all names, whatever has brought tears out of your eyes, because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you, in the name that is above all names, may my God arise for you. And that everyone who has laughed at you and said, where is their God? In the name that is above all names, that God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people miracles will be happening as i'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three i just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming i see it marriage is coming i see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let I every prayer like request coming on my head. And for ah, those yeah, streaming yeah, online, yeah, yeah, yeah. I change it to be testimonies now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request believe in the lord and that and which is established will hear the voice believe of god. his prophets become testimonies and, you shall and be delivered for god's people in the name of jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give god thanks it is done hallelujah please as i speak I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I prayed, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Shit. 
Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. Migraine headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV one and two in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see it i curse that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and curses of delay be gone one two three go 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 hallelujah Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members i remove that embargo of this favor now 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 
Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Second of the Tobacco. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life, whether for you or for your loved ones. Right now, I pray that embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it I command miracle jobs, miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of jesus expand in the name of jesus increase in the name of jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people go to topa at the count of three be released one two three 
Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus. pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now, hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting. 
and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three go press now now i command those powers i command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now Marco Pocotos, Embreketete, Soto Prosketa, in the name of Jesus, I command judgment, judgment, every altar, every yoke. Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Soto to 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 to, makata pres, sopo seke, engrata ta ta. No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete, soto kota, mande brakata. Orekete brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be Lord strength wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven strength wisdom coming from heaven receive it right now supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom supernatural wisdom hallelujah the Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but it stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration 
coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in a name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity witty inventions in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let it come on them oh god believe it let it come on them oh god let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet, rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire, fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Separo doso koto baria, lekete koto so pres kala baria ta. Zabra te so so pres kotos. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet, rise right on top from the feet, rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy. It will surprise you. You will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place. The Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Find them. 
find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to beyond church beyond church beyond church Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use i want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the lord is lifting that person to the next level i'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh god right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands Ready to speak now. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a grace, the power of performance that makes things to work. I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business I stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what I'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of Jesus I introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency I speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of Jesus Christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of Jesus Christ I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things I command right now fear go in the name of Jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare. May your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus, I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. 
ulcers be healed now migraines be healed now every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now growths and lumps around the body whether breast lumps all kinds of lumps I command that they disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your family in the name of Jesus between now and the next seven days may you hear strange testimonies from home please believe me I say it again between now and the next seven days I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me every pending issue over your life every pending issue any kind of pending issue right now issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved I decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone shake it us here there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now hear me in the name of jesus christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers 
the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ whose i am and whom i serve i decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends helpers to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child the lord is ministering to me the lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of jesus i command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of jesus i command your fruitful vine to become a forest i say it again in the name of jesus i command your desert to be a fruitful vine i command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in one minute i want you to ask the lord for any one thing i'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray i'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the lord and watch it happen i release my faith with you in the name of jesus i release my faith with you ask the lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the god of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living god what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what you will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of god are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah whatever it is that you have asked the lord i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony in the name of jesus christ i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony listen 
the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of jesus christ no matter how impossible it is may the god of all flesh the god of jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind i pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your place and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by arm robbers in the name of jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i asked finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock god in your life i am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart 
I give you the next 13 days. Surprise them. Surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life. Surprise your accusers. Surprise everyone who knew you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Of Jesus.
I cannot bow down before you And then bow down before me No way No way Listen I cannot worship before you And then worship before me No way
unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable, Make sure you sing from the depth of your heart. God. You're the reliable God. Reliable, hey. reliable God. Reliable God. Reliable, reliable God. voice in one minute and say Lord I trust you I trust you go ahead and pray I trust you Satan you are a liar the situations in my life will not cause me to distrust God I trust you you are worthy I trust you go ahead and pray You are dependable. You are dependable. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. If you speak, it is within your power to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. tonight because we believe you this is no pretense take joy my king in what you hear and let it be a sweet sweet sound in your 
take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Give me you, everything else can wait. Why the hurry? Give me you, I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you, Lord, give me you. Let it be a sincere prayer tonight. Don't mind me, I'm just worshiping him. Me you everything else can wait Lord give me you give me you Help me sing. You are the mighty God. Hey, let's all you. You are the glorious God. You are the mighty God. Hey, hey, let's all you. Shalabala Katulia. Just the voices. The mighty God. The mighty God. The glorious God. Just a voice again. You're not wasting your time. You are the mighty God. And he'll have you. You are the one more time. to be glorified you are worthy Jehovah you are worthy to be glorified lift your voice and sing you are worthy to be glorified Lift a song from your spirit and just begin to exalt him. There's something God is doing in your life. Find a song by yourself. Worship. You are not wasting your time tonight. I will not call on your name and end up in shame. Listen, 
Our world is full of men and women whose names are not powerful. You can call the name of a senator. You can call the name of your president. But there is a name. The Bible says the name of the Lord not only has power but is a strong tower. How can I call on your name and end up in shame? Why will I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? soon going to sit down but don't disconnect from what God is doing if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hands and if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it For everything I need is in you. If it's not in your presence, there are many options, but I choose your presence. If it's not by your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hands, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. Lord, you are. Don't sing it if you don't mean it. He's my everything. Everything. Lord, you are. Everything to me. One more time, lift your voice, everything. Everything, Lord, you are everything to me. Everything, everything, Lord, you are everything. My train.
You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're the healing God. Hallelujah. in this place that's our testimony you are lifting in this place you are mighty in this place you're the faithful God hallelujah You may not realize what is happening to you tonight. We're not just singing songs. There's something happening in the realm of the spirit. It's an exchange of your weakness for his strength. And I will lay down my idols, the thrones I have made, however I made them, and all that has taken my heart. Tonight I will lay down those idols, thrones I have made, and everything that has taken your place. Lord, I will lay down my idols, and thrones I have made, and all that has taken my heart sing Lord I will bow to no other God but you Lord I will worship you and nothing that hands have made nothing has Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called. Hallelujah. 
God is ministering restoration to people here. Please, I want you to pay attention. There are people who have labored, you have tried, you have done all you know to do. And the Lord is saying, I should speak to you that the season for restoration. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. It's a prophecy for you. That everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Prophesy to yourself now. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. And everything that shall be restored shall be restored unto me. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored. One more time. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. It's a prophetic word for you. You may not see the wind, you may not see the rain, yet in this season, the Lord is filling your valley in a way listen carefully we're going to sit down but the lord is filling your valley in a way that even you will know this one is the finger of god you may not see the wind i'm speaking to someone by the spirit you may not see the wind you wouldn't know how it will happen that overnight they will say is saul also one of the prophets how did it happen you may not see the wind, you may not see the rain, but brothers and sisters, in this season, God is lifting men. You may not see the wind, I repeat, you may not see the rain, you may not see the person coming, yet the finger of God, in a way that not even you can understand, will lift you in a way that will surprise everyone around you. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, 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 our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Let's do some little prayer. Hold hands with somebody all around you and begin to pray in the spirit. Let's challenge the spirit of unbelief. I know my God is able. I know my God is alive. I know my God is able. Come on, house of David. My God is alive. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. My God is not a man that he should lie he is not the son of man that he should repent god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent pray our eyes are on you 
the author, the finisher of every ministry, every business, every career, every family. Shekate balakota sebrati alabadabu. Habarakota sedebeli alabadabu. Pray. You are the lifter of men. 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 Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Second prayer point. Hallelujah. We are praying, Father, let your fire from heaven fall and everything that does not reflect you in my life, take it away. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. This is a threshing floor. It's a place whereby his spirit is building us. Lord, take away everything. The weight that easily besets me. Take it away. All that robs me from reflecting you. The carnality, the flesh, the pride. Everything, everything, the lost. Take it by your fire. Let your fire come. Take it by your fire. Let your fire come upon my life. Let your fire come upon my business. Let your fire come upon my ministry. Let your fire come upon everything. Everything. Hey, hey. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Please take this prayer seriously. God is changing your life. I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, I vow that in my lifting you will be glorified. You see, let me tell you, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's easy to say, Lord, give me car, give me tea, give me bread. But there are many of us, you were tested with certain things and your heart went away from God. And God says, no, it is profitable that I keep you here. I'd like you to pray and say, Father, for as long as I live, my life, my wealth, my increase, the ministry, the anointing will bring you glory. Can you open your mouth and pray? Oh, it's for your glory. The millions and the billions is for your glory. The influence is for your glory. The open doors in ministry, in life, in business. Make sure you are praying for your glory. For your glory.
hallelujah listen for you everything everything the Bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says make your request known don't keep it silent make your request known Lord if you arise for me in this area it will give me room to serve you if you arise for my husband my wife my church my business my ministry please help that woman Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing heart is what we've come to do. Casting around, lifting heads, bowing hearts. It's what we've come. To do. One more time, casting crowns. Casting around like the twenty and four elders. I bow my heart. It's what I've come to do. We will rise. We will rise. Hallelujah. In your name.
come and worship him hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all death could not say listen to what you are saying help that person please please help them you are the reason seated in my the lamb that was slain the bible says to receive for us blessing and honor and riches and power and glory you want it all death could not hold you that means nothing can hold you down too you are the You're seated in majesty. majesty. You are the reason. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Tonight I challenge my faith to rise. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Yeah, yeah. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Two more times. Let hope rise. One more time. Let power in your name miracles happen in your name don't hurry the song there is power in your name that's the God we serve miracles happen in your name one more time there's power there is power in your name yeah. miracles happen in your name there is power in your name to draw from you again again to drink from you again to hear from you again 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 to speak to you again We've come to the rock. Hey! Hey! To draw from you again. Hey! We've come to the rock. To the rock, 
from you again. Listen, I just need the guitar. While you are playing, I want everyone to begin to prophesy to every mountain that stands before you. This is under the corporate anointing. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? I come by the unction of worship and I declare that that mountain you must be made plain. Come on, lift your voice, house of David. Prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound. Don't be silent. Don't be tired. You are commanding victories. In Don't be tired. You are commanding victories in the spirit. Abarakoto shoto peke reke te alaba. Leke te ke te rapo shoto pariyana ba. In the name of Jesus, here are these worship and miracles. We command by the Spirit mountains of finances. We command by the Spirit mountains of sickness. For when God shows up, everything that is not Him must give way. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, let me tell you. Many of you are shifting things in the spirit. That is God for you. Forever. Oh Lord. Thy word is settled. It's not a special number. Listen to what you are saying. Forever, Forever. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, your word concerning my victories, your word concerning my lifting, not the recession will stop it, not the hatred of man can stop it. So I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Jesus, that you can change our lives that you can change and shift our destinies that you can bring new anointings in our ministries yes lord we believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god yesterday the lord did mighty things in abel kota it is within your power come on house of david we are rounding up there be a restoration of the years the canker worm ate the years the palmer worm ate there must be a restoration of every fortune a restoration of every lifting a restoration by the spirit of the living god Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the Lord just spoke to my spirit that we should sing a song. I'm not Yoruba, but the song is in Yoruba. And I just want you to keep quiet. The Lord said, as the, whoever is going to be singing it, an anointing through this song is going to be bringing this recovery. I don't know the song, go. I'm just someone who just had God. Go ahead, my dear. Along to the 
That's what the Lord told me. And as we begin to sing this song, he's stepping into people's situation. I want you as, well, as you are singing this song, see Jesus stepping in, into your family. Jesus, the son of the living God, walking into your life finally, walking into your disappointments. Please help those under the anointing. Jesus is stepping in in this auditorium. Lord Jesus, now I'm going to begin to pray. We're rounding up. Jesus, please help those under the anointing now. You don't have to bring them out. It's, our time is already gone. Jesus, Jesus is walking into this auditorium right now.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mercy is a weapon, and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord, and the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusations. And he said, Is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, The Lord rebuke you. Listen, the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me, but what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father, standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Shift your voice. Invoke mercy. Hey, Invoke mercy. Every voice. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You are involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! in what mercy, mercy come on now in what mercy in what mercy Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. Blot Ipalatea, Ipalatea, 
Was he praying? Hear me. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted, blotted. you live my life. Patterns of barrenness, patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia, you pray. The blood of Jesus, 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 the the blood of Jesus, Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But, but now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. And say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and causes and yoke by the blood of the eternal God. Koinonia, you pray. Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you NS. But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. I'd like you to pair yourselves into three. Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. 
pair yourselves into three 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 and you are going to for the next two or three minutes i like you to blast in tongues non-stop this month of july we are declaring war over the gates of darkness lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O oh God of heaven. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. It must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka ta 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 ta. Raka ta 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 ta. Every kete kete ne kotos. Pray! 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that I've not, I've not taught it the next time we're doing deliverance and I'll be teaching you on all of the elements. But one of the mysteries that produce true, de true deliverance is the mystery of the blood. Are we together? It's one of the three witnesses. The Bible says, and there are three witnesses that bear, three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. It says that there are three witnesses. This is where the problem is, the earth. It says the Spirit, the water, and the blood. Are we together? The Bible guarantees us that the blood of Jesus speaketh. The blood of Jesus speaketh. That means you can cause the blood to advocate. The blood of Jesus is an advocate. There is the advocacy ministry of the blood. The same way Cain killed Abel. Abel the man had died. But Abel the blood was speaking. And he cried. And God himself had to say no something is happening. Although the man had died. But the blood is still speaking. speaking. I'd like you to engage the blood and say in the name of Jesus, I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood. I invoke the advocacy of the blood. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. Over every pattern, over every curse, over every yoke. against you I will pass over when I when I see the blood upon the pronouncements in your family I will pass over lift your voice and invoke the blood we declare that the blood speaks we declare the mystery of God's mercy the blood speaks the priesthood of Jesus that is after the order of Melchizedek higher than the Aaronic priesthood higher than the priesthood of Noah we declare in the name of Jesus Shabbatako Sabarata the blood speaks the blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers the blood speaks Hallelujah. But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is going to pray. It's just going to be praying in tongues now. I want you to find a corner, my brother, my sister. Take your life serious. In the next five minutes, instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Zion. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day, in that day, in that day, that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck, and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Shabaka taka po, seke 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 te, shabaka toka toka kata. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. 
the victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain. That burden shall be taken from off my shoulder, that yoke from off my neck. Enough is enough in the name of Jesus. for your family, pray for your wife, pray for your husband, pray for your children. Arise, oh God, this is better, this is better, this is better. Arise, oh God of better. Pray. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to break grounds in the spirit. Spirit. It's time for the anointing of your destiny to come. It's time for the ministry to open. It's time for your finances to come. It's time for prophecy to find expression. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be Hallelujah. We are going to pray. This prayer is a serious prayer. As we pray, sisters, I want you to lay your hands on your womb. As we are praying, brothers, just pray in tongues. I like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find I will not give birth to any stranger. No. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five broil. I cause five broil. Cause every devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. 
you stay no productivity every gentleman here open your mouth and blast in tongues father in the heavens this is better the yokes be altered and everything that time my life that time my destiny by the mystery of deliverance I challenge I, I challenge it is upon Mount Zadok the spirit that cause failure Shaka toka pech Shaka Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assist, assisted men. So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. It says, I am the God of Bethel. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit. You are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirit? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Shaka Katava, angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood I declare that that door is closed forever lift your voice and pray come on lift your voice and pray still pray I tell you I feel fire in this place listen 
everything God has shown you, either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit, you're going to declare. Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit. They had to come and interact. The word must become flesh. I'd like you to lift your voice and cry. Jacob's katabata. Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. going to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit, I cast every devil, I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. married also pray for your family pray for your children I cast every devil
Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please pray. In the name of Jesus. I declare that tonight is my night. I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross, it must be appropriated in my life tonight. Therefore, I declare that every yoke, every spell, every cause, every ordinance, speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight, I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus say in the name of Jesus I declare that the sin of the fathers the sin associated with my lineage I declare that every mistake of the past I plead the blood over it lift your voice and plead the blood the ordinances of the fathers Jesus, I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that everything that the devil has taken away from us, we command that it must return tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Everything. Come on, believers, pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. You spirit behind the tragedies in my life. Say every spirit behind the failures in my life. Behind the delay in my life, behind every retrogression, behind every closed door, hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight, your legal hold is broken by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit behind the sex cycles of failure, the spirit behind the circles of defeat. Ah, 
Salada Sabarakatus Saparata Kata 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 I want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly. Just find someone, find a neighbor somewhere. In the next, our time is gone, but in the next three minutes, all I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray.
the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the Bora. And the stars fought for the Bora. And the sun and the moon fought for Joshua. And the earth fought for the woman. We command them and the elements of creation. Align yourself. Say the name of Jesus. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow. Therefore, I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. you are doing, I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the West. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God. But it passes through men. 
Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 I see the glory of the Lord risen upon you. That's what I see. I see the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the favor of the Lord. I see the favor of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the power of the Lord. I see the power of the Lord is risen. You can never be the same again. No, I see the glory of the Lord. I see the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. So I arise and shine. Favor of the Lord, the favor of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the favor of the Lord. I see the favor of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the beauty of the Lord. I see the beauty of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the increase of the Lord. I see the increase of the Lord. Nobody can stop me. I arise and shout. Very powerful. I break every limitation. Every limit. Just turn this song into a prayer. You're more than gold, more than silver, more than riches, more than faith. You are not one of the many important things in my life. You are everything, everything, everything. Everything. So Jesus, we we declare truly from the depths of our hearts that we love you and that you mean everything. You are not the most important thing in our lives. You are everything, 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 everything. We are not ashamed to let the world know that when we have you, it is not a disadvantage. And so we thank you. Thank you for giving us the gift of your presence. The gift of understanding the value of your presence. It's my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty You're the King of kings and lords Of you are the King 
You're the King of kings and Lord. Your glorious majesty are born in a crown. Sujata Shalabarango. We bring you worship, O oh God, our King. Alpha, 
no mega my restorer alpha no mega ada baliada you are lifter alpha no mega my restorer alpha no mega hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father he seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the father he seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne adoration to the father you are seated on the throne my worship to you father you are seated on the throne seated on the throne you are seated on the throne seated on the throne seated on the throne seated on the throne the sign of rest total control you are seated on the throne you are seated on the throne hey. You're not wasting your time, my friend people. You are connecting to spiritual things. Bless him in the
Alla prende che parli su pratiche di mala da quella roccia. Take me into the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me into the holy of holies. Take the cold, touch my lips, here I am. Take me into the holy of holies. Take me in, please. Take the cold, touch my lips, here I am. Take me into the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me into the holy of holies. Take the cold. Make sure you are still praying. Kapos kabi brani tigara. Pray. Kapos kabi brani tigara. Long to see your face, 
my own. Even so, We exalt you, Lion of the tribe of Judah, mighty God. Teras kubari kado salivaki kaya. Tarara, 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 tarara. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels speak. You are holy. You are holy.
la barus cada brende que le capuz cabradia committed to creating the atmosphere for your presence to be made manifest alarus la badabas don't be tired these are the kinds of spirit interactions that bring power Ela barusa paranda gabarusca la predica di Anas. E mala Maria de Cadena. Passo con as individuals and as a ministry you mean this much who but you is able to lift a man who but you is able to bless unless you open our eyes we cannot see unless you quicken our ears we cannot hear unless you grant us understanding we cannot comprehend Para barusa si ama katobra de la katobra hasta de bala katusha brenes. Spirit of the living God, this is your atmosphere, created by hunger, sponsored by passion, maintained by commitment. Kala para si barusa la kabrende gele katu. Bless him in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. The spirit. Ala baranda kabraka dosa lakato. Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the spirit. In some hell. Spiritual song. Sam, him, spiritual song. Sam, him, spiritual song. Make it melody in your heart to the Lord.
silent in his presence, just the instrument, just play something, just soak in that glory. So, play my notes, not my best. Just be still for a minute. I'm teaching that when you worship, you just need to be quiet. Then you let him speak. He will speak in pictures. He will speak in words. He will speak by moving your understanding. This is how we interact. These are the mysteries of the secret place. Just let him speak. It's more than an impartation. It's him speaking back to you. Don't change the sounds, guys. Be sensitive. You were playing something else. Let him speak to your spirit. That's why you came. You think it's just an impartation, but it's not an impartation. It's the power of his voice upon your spirit, man. Answers coming from heaven. Answers coming from heaven. Praise, oh Lord. Don't sing with me. Would you come to your resting place? You and the ark of your mind and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness we celebrate your love just be silent and soak in that presence For your name is holy, you're so holy, holy are you, Lord. I live. I live. From the rising of the sun Right until it's going down Just be still, we will sing of the mercies of the Lord. We will preach of the favor of the Lord. We will shout to each going down. Just be still. We will sing of the mercies of the Lord. We will preach of the favor of the Lord. We will shout of the goodness of the Lord. We will speak of the power of the Lord. Let's be still and know. Believe me, make no mistake to allow the devil make you think you are wasting your time. You are getting more than a sermon. This is koinonia. It's an interaction of the spirit. A quickening. Interaction of the spirit. A quickening. Your weakness being changed by his strength. Hmm. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. From within me, spirit to take over. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. From 
in this place. Pointing is strong in this place. Incurable diseases under the atmosphere of his Shakaina. Salamaranda katos, shalakatos. Taking away weaknesses. Taking away yokes and burdens. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Beauty for ashes, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. A few minutes and you'll be seated. They might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. A few minutes and you'll be seated. I'm taking away burdens. The Spirit of the Lord is speaking. Taking away burden. He's rolling away the reproach of your past. Rolling away the reproach of your past. The Spirit of the Lord is rolling away the reproach of your past. That this proverb will no longer be used in your life. Reproach of your past. The Spirit of the Lord is rolling away the reproach of your past. That this proverb will no longer be used in your life. The Lord is rolling away reproach. Tears, physical tears are coming out of my eyes. And the Lord is saying this is the captivity of a family being rolled away. Rolled away. I'm sensing the burden of a family. A family that has been under captivity. And the Lord is saying in this season, He's rolling it away. Rolling it away. This is the cry of the Spirit. Just let God do what He's doing. Let it be rolled away, O God. Let it be rolled away, O God. Let it be rolled away, O God. The cry of a family coming to the ears of the Savior, the Redeemer. He's rolling into a plague of sickness, a widespread plague of failure, a widespread plague of death in his presence, mighty, mighty presence, resting on everything that is not the Christ.
opening my eyes and I'm seeing an activation of the gifts of the Spirit. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing of Spirit, revelatory gifts being activated by the Spirit of the Lord. Being activated by the Spirit of the Lord. You see, what this session is doing is it is killing the flesh. The flesh hates what is happening. This is one of the ways that the flesh is crucified by exposing the flesh to the light of his power. It's an uncomfortable position for the flesh. Just a few minutes and you'll be seated. This is not the making of a man. It's the Holy Ghost doing something of his power. It's an uncomfortable position for the flesh. Just a few minutes and you'll be seated. This is not the making of a man. It's the Holy Ghost doing something to your spirit, man. Yeah, na 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 there are some of you the Lord is giving you new tongues new prayer languages new tongues new tongues new tongues new tongues it's giving you new tongues new tongues you will no longer pray like you have prayed before a new language New tongues, new tongues, new tongues. It's giving you new tongues, new tongues. You will no longer pray like you have prayed before. A new language, a new frequency in the spirit. This is what is happening. I'm seeing coals of fire being put upon the tongues of people. New tongues, new tongues. That's what the spirit of the Lord is revealing to me. New tongues, utterances of the Spirit, utterances you have never heard before, utterances you have never known before. Some of you, they will start right here at Koinonia, and for others, it will be at your secret place. Some it will be at your prayer group. 
Some it will be at your prayer group. Just fix your eyes upon Jesus for the next one or two minutes. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. I hear this in my spirit. I hear this in my spirit. I echo it and I hear it in my spirit. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. Lord, let it flow like a river. Everywhere within this building, everywhere within the overflow, online the oil of favor. That you will be drenched and you will be soaked in this oil. Leaving this service to a realm of extraordinary fruitfulness by the favor of God. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes if you can. Just focus on Jesus. One minute. Please don't just focus on Jesus. One minute. Please don't be distracted. Whether whatever is happening around you is none of your business. Just be focused. Hear what he says to you. Hear what he says to you about your life. Hear what he says to you about your relationship with him. Hear what he says to you about your family. Hear what he says to you about the solution. Hear what he says to you. Hear what he says to you about the pain. Hear what he says to you about your ministry. You can trust what you are hearing now. You can trust what you are hearing now. It can't be the devil speaking. You can trust what you are hearing now. For some of you, he's saying, I am still God. I am still God. In spite of all that has happened in your life, I am still God. I am still God. I am still God. You have come too far to doubt. I am still God. You are causing 
Thank you for your power. Mighty God, strong and mighty in the midst of our people. We bless you and receive that which you have for us. Hela brand salabaruto subiyesi, haruza degere bush, hem brata katola pradis, e gaba barato sadabra, hela bro zati barunda shev come to the rock. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. The Lord is lifting you. Don't be distracted. Whether you are in the overflow outside online, don't be distracted. There are spiritual transactions going on. Na 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 
Taking away limitations, taking away limitations, taking away limitations. Barons Kabaru Zina Kata, that this proverb will no longer be heard in Israel. It will no longer be Ikabo. Zato Shabran Deko Salabra Atisina Asia Kata. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Be focused on Jesus. Don't be distracted. Let your eyes be like a flint. Haruda si brada gada balakoshi. Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Alabarus, Alaban, Heradus, Egredus, Zeneca, Parusia, Cata, Lato Zetiana, Haskabadus, Rentos, Kaba, Ishadaba, Lato, Sabran, the Gedi Baratus, Yatakatas, Just soak in the glory. Let the atmosphere of heaven rest upon your life, rest upon your pain, rest upon your disappointment, rest upon your heart, your mind, and produce a result for you that only God can produce. Spiritual experience is going on. I continue to allow this because of what I see in the spirit. God is working things in people's lives. God is fixing things in people's lives. Birthing things in people's lives. Depositing graces. Depositing possibilities. Depositing abilities. Everywhere be connected in the spirit. Over the one, two, and three. Just a few minutes and we are done. You don't rush the glory when His glory is made manifest. You maximize the moment when he comes. It's a holy convocation. He comes to bless. He comes to lift. 
to maximize the moment when he comes it's a holy convocation he comes to bless he comes to lift just use the next two minutes allow your spirit man find expression please allow your spirit man find expression Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Please speak from your heavens and the earth will hear. Speak from the heavens and I'll hear from the earth. My altar. Is calling you. Speak from the heavens, and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling you, O oh God. My altar is calling you. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God, and my worship is calling you, oh God, take my praise, oh God, take my praise. Take me to the place, the place you are, the secret place, that's where I want to be. Will you take us to the place, the place you are?
Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Komina Nakane Ya Yesu Komina Nakane Komina Nakane Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Just just be still in his presence and just allow the spirit of the living God perfect. You cannot imagine what God is doing in your life. This is the meaning of this God. You are the end. God is doing in your life.
we are not ashamed of being there. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour, I need thee, come bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee, can you sing it with revelation, I need Oh, I need thee Every hour I need thee Come bless me now My Savior Savior Please help me take my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. Just sing it unto him. Lord, we are not pretending this song. On Christ the solid rock. On Christ. I stand all over the ground He's sinking sand All over the ground He's sinking All over the ground He's sinking sand Grounds of achievement Grounds of anointing Grounds of ministry Grounds of fame. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, lead on my heart. I worship you. Si ba kabombre ana ba shalabai. Oh, we did oh.
Somebody sing after me, ready to do your will. I am ready to do your will. I will go. I will go. I will go. Anywhere you lead me. I will go, I will go, I will go. of truth wherever you lead me yeah. I hear you <laughs> the voices.
in the spirit. The treasures of your word, and I will forever sing your praise. Listen to me, I'm ministering to you. And I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing. Out for joy, I will sing of the wonders of your work, and I will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord. Your spirit opens to me. The treasures of your word, I will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of revelation. Your spirit will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of revelation. Your spirit will me. The treasures of your word, that's why, O oh Lord, sing, I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word, I will sing how for joy. I will sing of the wonders and I will forever sing your praise. That's my desire, Lord. And I will of the wonders and I will forever that's my desire, Lord. And I will forever sing your praise. And I will forever sing your praise. And I will forever sing your praise. I bless him. Let him do what he wants to do.
of the tribe of Judah is in this place. I see the glory, the Shekinah of his presence. It fills this place. The smoke, fire. I hear the sound of thunder in my spirit. The lightning and thunder that characterizes magic. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. for me the angel that stands before me I saw him three years ago and he told me his name is Zion's help and I have not seen him in the last three years tonight I see this angel stand before me the helper of Zion And a vision is open before my eyes. I see a lampstand, a golden lampstand. It's the kind of vision that Zechariah saw. The spirits of the prophets of old walk in this room. I sense that the prophet Jeremiah walks in this room. I sense it by the intuition of the Spirit. I sense that Paul the Apostle walks in this room. And the beloved of the Most High, John, walks in this room. I'm about to chant prophetically. I don't do this many times. I do it when a heavy unction is upon me. Just clash the cymbals. Lord most high and I stand in the midst of you tonight say the spirit of the Lord for I am the Lord I am the Lord most high and I stand in the midst of you tonight say the spirit of the Lord for I am the Lord most high the captain of the armies of the Lord Captain of the armies of the Lord. The captain of the armies of the Lord. I hear the sound of chariots. Chariots. As of war. Chariots. Mighty chariots in the sky. mighty chariots and now I see them chariots mighty chariots 
and now I see them chariots of fire running as it were as a matter of urgency the northern army of the most high chariots of fire Come on, press. This is Koinonia tonight. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. The heavens open. And you shall see the angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Come go with me behind the veil. Come go with me behind the veil. Come go with me. Come up here. Come up here. Behind the veil. Come up here. Come go with me. Come go with me. Come go with me. Come go with me.
hear the sound of the rain? Do you hear the sound? Chariots. Chariots. Do you hear the sound of the rain? Do you hear the sound? Chariots. 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 Shem Adonah, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. El Gibor, El Elyon. The multi-breasted one. Yes, Lord, we thank you. For you will make us all that you desire for us to be. We expose ourselves to the fullness of your glory. For behold, I give you a new name, say the Spirit of God. I give you a new name. I will not leave you the same. For his glory fills this place. Yes, I know his glory fills this place. And your eyes will see him. Hallelujah. Lord, you are in our midst and we thank you. We are not worshipping one who is afar. Hallelujah. Lord, you are in our midst and we thank you. We are not worshipping one who is afar. One of the blessings of Koinonia is that you know that God is real. That you draw nigh and see the reality of this person that we worship.
something will always be activated in your spirit when you draw nigh to his presence. Father, you Giving us a reason to rejoice. prophesying that this is why you live
tired of this night. Hallelujah. We are going to make some dangerous confessions this night that will, rem- it will remind the devil that God and us are still in charge. I need to pray Hallelujah. My spirit is fired up this night. Hallelujah. We are going to make some dangerous confessions this night that will, rem- it will remind the devil that God and us are still in charge. Hallelujah. While I came up, that was the song that was in my spirit. I tell you, my spirit is fired this night. Ah. I live to praise that name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow Are you tired of prophesying? I live, yeah. begin to prophesy. You have made me the head. I remain the head forever. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. He has called me blessed. I remain blessed forever. Go ahead and prophesy. My path is as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The hand of the Lord is upon me. His favor encompasses me as a shield. A thousand falls by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me with my eyes. Will I watch and see the reward of the wicked? Go ahead and prophesy. My power again that day prophesy. I'm the head, I'm blessed, I'm lifted. The anointing is upon me in the name of Jesus. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil. Gentiles come to my life. Kings to the brightness of my rising. He's exalted me above thrones, above dominion, above principalities and every name that is named both in this age and in the world to come. I refuse sickness. I cannot be sick. I refuse poverty. It is far from me. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. He has given me the tongue of the learned that I will know how to speak a word in due season. My words are seasoned with small prophesying. Through wisdom, my life is built. By understanding, it is established. True knowledge is filled with every blessing. I'm above Satan. I'm above the powers of darkness. He has lifted me. He has given me a name that is above every other name. He calls me great. He calls me blessed. He calls me anointed. My gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My way pleases the Lord and He makes even my enemies to be at peace with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, prophesy koinonia. The Bible says, hold fast your profession of faith. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the anointed of the Lord say so. Go ahead and prophesy. It doesn't matter what is happening in your family. God is faithful. God is faithful. I shall not die. I have no covenant with death. I choose life. I choose life. I do not live by the sword. So I cannot die by the sword. The name of the Lord is a strong power. I run into it and I am saved. Go ahead and prophesy. 
wealth and riches are in my house. The wisdom of God is at work in me. The works of my hands are blessed. I move from glory to glory to glory to glory. I move from glory to glory to glory to glory. The hand of God is upon me. The favor of God is upon me. The gift of the Lord that is deposited within me makes room for me and it ushers me into the realm of greatness. Pray and prophesy. Let the devil hear you. The Bible says, As I hear you say for my ear, so shall I do. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm lifted. I have the mind of Christ. I don't think failure. I don't think defeat. In the name of Jesus, I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom. Help of Jesus, I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom. I lay hands on the sick and they are healed. I cast out devils. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. To announce the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of vengeance of our God. To give them beauty for ashes, joy for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of God. The Lord is my shepherd. I refuse to be one. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul and guides me in the path of day. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I am planted in the house of God and I flourish in the courts of God. Even in old age, I shall be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. The Gentiles come to my life. Things to the brightness of my rising. That same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body. That same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body. It quickly shall gather, but as surely as they gather, they will scatter. Because the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my inheritance. I live to praise your name And I have no fear How could I have what tomorrow brings yeah. I live to praise your name And I have no fear I have no worry I live to praise your name and I have no fear. Yeah. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Hallelujah. So that you are not confused about what to expect. And he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? I sing praises to your name, oh God, praises to your name, lift your hands and worship me, oh God, for your name is great, 
Yeah. 
Just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. How can I feel? I want you in one minute to open your mouth and thank the Lord. Just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. How can I feel? No. Impossible. Impossible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I found my way out. I found my way out. Thank you. Thank him. Thank him. Please don't pretend it needs it from the depth of your heart. Thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light me, 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 Lord. Light a candle. Tonight, oh God. Light my light. Faith in your heart. I lift my hands to you. You're the awesome you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you, you're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you, awesome God. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God, awesome God. I lift my voice to you. Awesome God, awesome God. Ask the Lord to open your eyes tonight. Open your 
open our eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, not every man speaks and heaven begins to back them like this. There are scars. Preachers lie to you. They tell you there are no scars. But I want you to hear this voice from the throne. It takes scars to command power in the spirit. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. The faithful God. He's a mighty God. Mighty God. Glorious God. Hey, hey. You're the glorious God. You're the awesome God. We lift our hands to you. Awesome God. Awesome God. I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. I lift my hands to you. Awesome God. Hallelujah. There are rankings and there are promotions in the spirit. There are rankings and there are promotions in the spirit. Hear me. When a man enters a new level of grace, you know. When a man touches a substance that is heavenly, you know. God is elevating men through these persecutions. But it's not going to come the way you expect. It won't come by clapping for you. No! Your voice becomes like the voice of thunder. When you have gained power in the heavens. Is the awesome God. Awesome God. You are the awesome God. Hey! Awesome God, I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God, I lift my hands to you. Awesome God, I lift my voice to you. You're the awesome God. Though weeping endures for a night, it says joy comes. Though weeping endures for a night, joy. With the morning, it will look like morning will not come. Time will not come. Stand in the fire. Stand in the heat. Stand through the persecution. Stand through the pain. Stand is the betting of the anointing. Is the betting of power. Is the betting of glory. For out of the shadows of your pain, his glory will arise. Out of your tears, an unction will come upon your life. Out of your discouragement, out of your humanity, he that endures to the end. You may not be able to sing, but stand. You may not be able to cry, but stand. You may, you may not be able to cry, but stand. You may not be able to pray, but stand. You may not be able to listen to any message. You will call on friends. They will run away from you. 
you will call on family members they will run away from you but stand 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 is a threshing floor in the spirit is a white press in the spirit the anointing is rising from that pain the anointing power in the spirit unction grace a message an apostolic and prophetic mantle will be your reward when you endure i lift my head to you you're the awesome to you you're the awesome god i lift my voice to you awesome god awesome god. i lift my voice to you you're the awesome god go ahead break the spirit break the spirit with your presence Holy Spirit you are welcome fill this temple with your presence I wait on you Lord I wait on you I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. Sing it one more time from your heart. I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. I wait on you. Are we together? What is sin? No, 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 no. I'm not saying you should. Are we together? Because this one, you are not missing the mark. This in the mark. This one, you are disbelieving God. God said it, and you say, God, I don't know what you are talking about, but make it happen now. And God says, Me? You are God alone. From before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, Yeah, 
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. The journey of my life, listen to me please, has been a journey of progressive walk with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me please. Walk with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me, please. Exactly a month ago, hear me, I was sleeping and the Spirit of God woke me. He said, it's time for you to step into a new face of the anointing and a new face. I always see it. I see a military man in the Spirit and then a batch is added. And the Lord says, there are many more responsibilities and there is an anointing. And I prayed, I said, Lord, you cannot just be empowering me alone. Your people need to walk in this kingdom power. And all through, the Lord had been brewing it in my heart. And the Lord kept telling me, it is my desire. Let your people believe me enough. Moses said, I desire that my spirit is in my heart. And the Lord kept telling me, it is my desire. Let your people believe me enough. Moses said, I desire that my spirit will even come upon everybody. My greatest desire is not to be one invincible man of God. No. But that there will be people, and you are these people, to spread across. I decree and declare, all that God has given me is blessed. I and the children that God has given me, we are for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I enjoy abundance. I enjoy supplies. Don't be tired. Don't let the devil deceive you that what you are saying is not sending a signal in the realm of the spirit. I'm fruitful on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of revelation is upon me. I have understanding. I have understanding. I have the mind of standing. I have the mind of Christ. The love of God is at work in me. It's my year of triumph. I prophesy thanks be to God who causes me to triumph. It's my year of triumph. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. No death. I have no business with death. In the name of Jesus Christ, I walk in dominion. I walk in grace. Kapos kaparatoshiakata. Hallelujah. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in, power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know. One more time. I'm walking in power. Walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Listen to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Pray, Koinonia. I surrender everything to you. Shabbat. Withholding nothing. Not my life, not my ego. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Lord, I surrender all to you and everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Take my heart. And mold it. Take my mind. It's my prayer alone. Transform me. Pray, Koinonia. Take my wings. Yeah, yeah. Comforting nothing. Withholding nothing. Take my heart. And mold it. Take my mind. It's my prayer alone. Transform me. Pray, Koinonia. Take my will. Yeah, yeah. Conform me to be yours. Let it be like yours. Oh Lord. Pray. Surrender everything. Take my heart, and hold it. Take my mind, transform me. I give you my will, and yeah, conform me to be yours. Let it be like yours. Oh Lord, pray, surrender everything. Take my heart, and hold it. Take my mind, transform me. I give you my will, I give you my will, transform me. Yes, Lord. Everything I hand it over to you. Do a handover ceremony tonight. I... Yes, Lord. Everything I hand it over to you. Do a handover ceremony tonight. I hand it over. 
I stop this pride of mine. And I hand over my life and everything. Not just to your power. Lord of my relationship. Lord of my life. Lord of my finances. The chief influencer of my destiny. Hallelujah. It's for you to take one step and say, Holy Spirit, I ignored you. I have ignored you in my life. The moment a guy came into my life, he just took away my brain, took away my sense, took away you. Brain took away my sense, took away you. Would you dance with me? Love of my soul to the song of all songs. Sing it one more time. Would you dance? Visit me, O oh God. It's always an encounter in this place. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. Oh. Visit me, O oh God. It's always an encounter in this place. 
hear prophetic word in my spirit speedily 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 that's what the spirit of the lord is ministering to you speedily speedily the bible says the word of god is quick and powerful and i prophesy that word to someone speedily let that be the anthem of your life speedily i speak finances speedily open doors speedily says, do not be drunk with wine, wherein is excess. He says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking to yourselves, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Father, tonight we have come, and in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that your word is prevailing over our lives. Your word is causing us to become manifestations of what it has spoken about. You have spoken great things concerning us. Spirit of the living God, this is Koinonia. We grant you unrestrictions of what it has spoken about. You have spoken great things concerning us. Spirit of the living God, this is Koinonia. We grant you unrestrained access 
to change, to heal, to deliver, to lift, to bless, to restore. Let Jesus be glorified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. I want you to be very sensitive tonight. Don't be distracted. The remaining days that we have are times that will require acute sensitivity. Be sensitive. Be sensitive to the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. Don't be distracted. The remaining days that we have are times that will require acute sensitivity. Be sensitive. Be sensitive to the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. challenge of 10 years can just shrink within a minute in his presence. That's what this is all about, my brothers and sisters. This is not, we are not acting moves. God is changing lives. You see, if you are not anointed, you are not a blessing. You truly are not. It has, it has nothing to do, listen, listen, it has nothing to do with it. Is there no band in Lagos? Is there no Bible in Lagos? It will be not only unfair, in fact, it will be sin if that gentleman leaves Lagos and comes down to sit here, giving God his time and attention, and we talk nonsense and garbages and waste his time and share the grace and just shake him and he returns back frustrated. How then do you know God was here? Lord, you took my heaven and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me the right notes to sing to me. That's what my own little you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the sun. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For those of us in ministry, may it never happen that we stop being men of God and become entertainers. To pray in one minute and say, Lord, keep this fire fresh. Keep this fire fresh. Pray. Keep the fire fresh. It's part of the meeting. Please, Lord, keep the anointing fresh. Keep the grace fresh. Keep the signs and wonders fresh. Let the impact be fresh. Let the revelations be fresh. Are you praying? It's a very serious revelations be fresh. Are you praying? It's a very serious prayer. Please 
Please pray. Keep the fire fresh. Pray. Don't let the devil deceive you. accomplish what concerns me today concerns me today he is able more than able to handle everything that comes my way He's able, he is more than able. He's able to make me what he wants. He's able, he is more than able. He's able to make me what he wants. Worthy of your love, you shall be blessings from above.
Shala Katabarada. God in the midst of his people is mighty. You are Yahweh. There's a song I want you to sing. I want to hear that song. Let's just sing that song and then we'll sit down. Your love is mine.
want us to take one or two minutes and bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness in this house. Lift your voice and just bless. Father, we declare that you are faithful. Father, we declare that you are faithful, taking us from glory to glory by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank him for what he's doing in your life. See what is made out of your life by his anointing, by his spirit, by his wisdom, by his grace. Thank you for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Every time and any day, I have confidence in you. Every time and any day, I have confidence in you. Savior, I have confidence in you. Sing with me. I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Savior, I have confidence in you. Lift your hand, Master. My helper, helper. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Make sure you sing from the depth of your heart. You're the reliable God. your voice in one minute and say lord i trust you i trust you go ahead and pray i trust you satan you are a liar the situations in my life will not cause me to distrust god i trust you 
You are worthy. I trust you. Go ahead and pray. You are dependable. You are dependable. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. If you speak, it is within your power. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Jesus, we are here tonight because we believe you. This is no pretense. Take joy, my King, in what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Take joy, my King. In Give me you Everything else can wait Why the hurry? Give me you I hope I'm not too late Lord, give me you Lord, give me you 
Let it be a sincere prayer tonight. Don't mind me. I'm just worshiping Him. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Lord, you are God, you are the mighty God, the glorious God, you are 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 the mighty God, you are the mighty God, hey, shalabala katolia, you are the glorious God, just a voice again, your time. You are the mighty God. Let the voice begin. You're not wasting your time. You are the mighty God. And I told you. You are the One more time. a song from your spirit just begin to exalt him there's something God is doing in your life find a song by yourself worship you're not wasting your time tonight I will not call on your name and end up in shame. No way. No way. Listen. Our world is full of men and women whose names are not powerful. You can call the name of a senator. You can call the name of your president. But there is a name. The Bible says the name of the Lord not only has power but is a strong name. And end up in shame. Why will I bow down before you and then bow down before a man?
to sit down, but don't disconnect from what God is doing. If it's not by your hands, and if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. Everything I need is in you. If it's not in your presence, there are many options, but I choose your presence. If it's not by your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have. It's not in your presence, not by your hands. If it's not by your spirit, don't let me have Lord, you are Don't sing it if you don't mean it. It's my everything. Everything. Lord, you are everything to me. One more time, lift your voice, everything. the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're the healing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
However, I made them, and all that has taken my heart. Tonight I will lay down those idols, thrones I have made, and everything that has taken your place. Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow. Lord, I will bow to no other God but you. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. 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 Emmanuel.
there are people who have laid following online just stretch your hands release your faith some of you have sent them believe that the god of heaven i cannot begin to tell you the kinds of testimonies that have come out we may not have the time to prophesy to everybody individually may not have time to minister to everybody but this is a representation of your desire the bible says be anxious for nothing he says but in everything by prayer and supplication he says with thanksgiving he says let your request be made known god wants to know what your request is hallelujah praise the lord and i'll request in one minute can you just stretch your hands to this and speak over it how forcible are right words the bible says in the name of jesus pray prophesy now those of you who are still being ministered to you just focus as the men of god minister to you but then we're stretching our hands and we're trusting for miracles please if there are still people it's important that we have the requests here in the name of jesus i'd like you to stretch your hands and declare lord these egyptians i see today in the name of jesus the son of the living god i see them no more forever is someone praying stretch your hands shalabaruza siaka paruza zik endebrato salagada bradagada bosh shkabarato sabrandege parusia tabaladaba in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the holy ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost turn again the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev shalabarato zakabarado jenekas and take a lebarato sabaroto jubahasa and telegrando sadabaru sedias krabagabaru dasige paru disias and glato sabradabaratu ziatash in the name of jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah in the name of jesus agree with me in the name of jesus Amen. and the apostle says lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus and lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here.
prophet joel speaking by the spirit said and i will restore the years let me tell you this real dominion is dominion over time no matter what you dominate if you do not dominate time you are not walking in dominion and i will restore the years many of us we've wasted time we've wasted opportunities in the name of jesus let there be restoration Amen. hallelujah now i pray for you listen every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change 
remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying akara and yet build from that business it's not akara that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you i like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that i pursue them with hunger desperation and honor so when we are gathered like this haven't received prayer for healing haven't received the word i think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing a new dimension either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have you can have the grace that makes for productivity but not have the grace for favor everything you have you work for that's not profitable you will not be able to give god glory the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men hallelujah are you ready to receive i have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and i'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of god in this place and if you can believe you will be surprised you see i have prayed for many years and i will tell you this you know that i love you you are my people i'm committed to your growth please listen to me <clears throat> there is a grace i have prayed and cried to god over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but i don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life 
you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hefzibah. You become a delight. A delight. In the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints. I prophesy upon you. Let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of god in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time i pray in the name of jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of jesus i declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not God the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for Joseph not God there are men who can help men all blessings come from God through men to men I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry yeah. hallelujah praise the Lord I pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you 
and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate opened it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it Ephata, be open be open be open be open In the name of jesus hear me i prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the Spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life we're done he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus come back to life now <laughs> hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday and i open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation we cannot just stand coronavirus we know is a spirit it's not a virus can we agree we stand in agreement as the church of the lord jesus christ the ecclesia the body of christ we speak over the spiritual borders of nigeria the bible says pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we decree and declare we banish the workings of evil from our territory in the name of jesus the virus dies and it leaves our borders 
and we pray for other nations of the world because he says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed we use china as a point of contact the u.s and their people here u.s uk whatever nation you are standing representing we decree and declare coronavirus in the name of jesus we banish you from the nations of the earth the name that is above all names i prophesy to everyone who is trusting god for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of god may you hear the voice of the lord in the name of jesus i prophesy clarity in the name of jesus you don't have to bring them out just just leave them you don't have to bring them out again we're out of time i prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for every born here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now i prophesy over those trusting god to settle down maritally every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of jesus that embargo is lifted now by the blood of jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters i open your marital doors now in the name of jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life may the lord change your story hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of jesus the anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't preach. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart 
let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting God for jobs let me, there's nothing as joblessness the Bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when God speaks there must be job in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever your job is I don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in Christ therefore I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah I pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place I declare to you according to the word of the Lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child I speak it I establish it in the spirit Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel against Jerusalem and against Judah so that no man will lift up his head he said but I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the Lord told me he will bring breakthrough I want to prophesy it now, now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of God break every limitation now hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do 
and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakatoposku prendikitabalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place Kabo I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the Bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is a minister and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus 
now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom god gives you ideas in the name of jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting god and is saying lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying lord if there was a way i can turn the hands of time i prophesy to you there is a god that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of god we call back that opportunity to return in the name of jesus christ we call it to return in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my god arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their god in the name that is above all names that god will arise for you my god will arise for you my god will arise for you now hold on there is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now lift your hands father as many of those people right now right now right now it's going to come as fire i see liquid fire in the spirit go ahead and shout jesus once one to go receive it the healing anointing the healing anointing the healing anointing receive it now inside and outside receive it now by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost someone hold shade hold shade so she doesn't fall hold up but the healing anointing is coming on her it's, it's, it's more of a scary because it has always been there it has always been there three of you hold your hands ken kenya and promise hold your hands look at me in the name of jesus take it now by the power of the holy ghost step into new levels new levels of the anointing new levels of the power of the spirit new dimensions in the spirit I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people. Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you is happening to your members at home. 
Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two. Prayer requests are being answered supernaturally. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Jam, jam request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let I every prayer like request so here. coming on my head. And ah, for yeah, those yeah, streaming yeah, online, yeah, yeah, yeah. I change it to be testimonies Please now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. Believe in the Lord. And that and which is established will hear the voice of God. In his prophets. Become testimonies and, you shall and be delivered for God's people. In the name of Jesus. Please lift your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. Give God thanks. It is done. Hallelujah. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now Peptic ulcer be gone right now. Be gone right now. 
HIV 1 and 2 in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray. Any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and I said your family members will not see it. I cast that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay or any kind of delay. At the count of three, yokes and causes of delay be gone. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Shake it, 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 Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, shake it. Catch fire! Catch fire! Now! Every altar! Secrete! Every altar! Catch fire! Catch fire! Now! Every altar! Against any family! Catch fire! Now! Secrete! Hallelujah! Listen, whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now, 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 now. now. Hallelujah. Hear me whatever the devil has stolen from your family whatever the devil has stolen in your life i stand as a servant of god this one is going to hit many people there are many families that need restoration i will shout restore at the count of three we're hurrying up we're out of time father let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place one two three take it take it take it take it i command restoration i command restoration take it take it take it take it restore restore hallelujah every yoke of academic failure whether wayek 
weather jam some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now i see fire there are many of you it's an embargo of darkness you will feel like something jumping out of your head right now i command yokes of academic failure be lifted now 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me some of you have struggled hear me some of you are christians but you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop is eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! In the name of Jesus! Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names, the Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers I pray right now I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus Hallelujah. i pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of lazarus and lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now 
whatever is dead in your life and your family i stand under this unction of god and i pray whatever is dead i command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now hallelujah i release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored i pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word grace to be obedient receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the bible says that oil puts you above your fellows i pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of jesus any member of your family that is not born again i pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of god must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah father visit your people 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 now hear me at the count of three mm. so i see that sword again i see that sword bring them out i see that sword of the spirit at the count of three hear me inside and outside there will be a convocation of the power of god and every yoke of darkness must give way right now every spell and every enchantment man is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three Go fresh today. Now, now, I command those powers. I command powers inside and outside in the overflow. 
right now, right now, Marco Pocotos, Embrecetete, Soto Prosketa, in the name of Jesus, I command judgment, judgment, every altar, every yoke. Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Soto to 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 Makata press Suppose the case No power That ties your destiny Will remain tonight Embrekete Soto kota Mande brakata Olekete brekete Hallelujah I see the angels of the Lord moving outside All those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be Lord straight wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. hallelujah the lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but he stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration Malakato praskata beka shepratika sabrakata baladaba Hallelujah There is a grace I feel like praying for students There is a grace for academic excellence Listen, it doesn't just happen Believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now 
at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate capacity to understand capacity to understand hallelujah hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let it come on them oh god believe it let it come on them oh god let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus let it come on them oh god in the name of jesus i stretch my hands now 43 i'm seeing a number 43 strange ideas coming on your spirit now strange ideas creative ideas strange ideas creative ideas receive it right now i want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension i don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them strange fire i see strange fire rising from the feet rise on top from the feet rise on top from the feet please help them in the name of jesus can you carry the child so that he doesn't in the name of jesus strange fire revival fire supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah the lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to beyond church beyond church beyond church hallelujah ah! i'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people it's a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah 
if you came with anything that is a point of contact whether a document certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use I want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh God right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the Lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah Acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons I've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way I'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands ready to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents I release it upon your pictures I release it upon your certificates I release it upon your proposals hear me whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact I give life to it now in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue
everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of jesus i introduce an anointing to that family and i command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare may your miracle job find you believe what you are hearing may your miracle job find you in the name of jesus now i pray for anyone here having any infirmity i don't care what it is i don't care how long any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of god for healing will touch people in the name of jesus i command be healed now say amen be healed now be healed now be healed now every blood disease be healed now ulcers be healed now migraines be healed now every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now growths and lumps around the body whether breast lumps all kinds of lumps i command that they disappear right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for your family in the name of jesus between now and the next seven days may you hear strange testimonies from home please believe me I say it again between now and the next seven days I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies
it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me Every pending issue over your life, every pending issue, any kind of pending issue right now, issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved. I decree and declare, let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, shake it those here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you, and lift your mother, and lift your father, and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands I want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus I pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of Jesus Christ whose I am and whom I serve I decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen 
it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends help us to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child two more prayers and we're done tonight the lord is ministering to me the lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of jesus i command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of jesus i command your fruitful vine to become a forest i say it again in the name of jesus i command your desert to be a fruitful vine i command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in one minute i want you to ask the lord for any one thing i'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray i'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the lord and watch it happen i release my faith with you in the name of jesus i release my faith with you ask the lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the god of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living god what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what he will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of god are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah whatever it is that you have asked the lord i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony in the name of jesus christ i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony listen the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of jesus christ no matter how impossible it is may the god of all flesh the god of jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind i pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension 
begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave his physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your place and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter I command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts untouchable by armed robbers in the name of Jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i ask finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock god in your life i am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart i give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come Ragged <laughs> 
Rakata, 
Rakaba, Rakata Bosha, Nembras Kibata, Rakata Baladabasha, Rekata Kata, Rekata Kata, Bella Bakata, Rekata Bella Bakata, Rekata Bella Bakata, Rekata Bella Bakata, Rekata Bosha, Maka Paradaba, Nanto Prosto Parikate, Lepa Rekata Prosta, Nembro Toto Bakata Baladaba, Rakata Baladaba, Nata Prasta Baka Pratakata, La Prekata Pratakata Bella Daba, Rapata Prosto Pate. Rekatekate Rakata Balaba, 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 Rakata Balaba,
Rabata kata prega de bele de bosa. Ne prosko parikete. Le pati kala bosa. Ma parikete. Le praska pariadaba. Rakata balaraba. Ma prata kapre sekete. Le prega kete le boko to prada kata balaraba. Rabata kata bosa. Ne praske pata. Rakata balaraba sha. Rekete kete prega te kete bele de boko to prega de 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 b
Rapa kata, 
Sopaya, Mapu Sopetia, Mapra Pasta, Tata, Epeketeba, Raposco Pekate, and the Venerable Cosso Pacata, Epeketeba, 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 Recate, <laughs> la paga da vaca da vaca da vaca manta prosco parita manta preta da bolsa ca nego prato da chaga da vaca da vaca da vaca da bolsa la cauta para da vaca nego prato da chaga da vaca da vaca da vaca da bolsa la cauta para da vaca da manta prata pasta rapa da para da vaca manta preta da baixa nega da preta da vaca da vaca da bolsa manta prosco baixa da nega pura sina da vaca Nepe prosko pauri anaba, nepa tiba kata bala anaba kata prega de bala anaba kato prega de bala anaba, nepa prata kata bala, raka kata prata kata bala anaba, nepa prata kata nepa kata nepa bosha, nepa kata bala anaba, raka kata prata kata bala anaba bosha, maka kata maka kata, raka kata kata bala anaba, raka kata kata prega de bala anaba bosha, nepa prosko pari kate, nepa tika la bosha, maka kate, nepa prosko Pariadaba, Rakata Balaraba, Mamprakata Presecata, Lepredecata, Nebocoto Pradakata Balaraba, Rapakata Bosha, Nebraski Bolta, Rakata Balaraba, Rapakata Bosha, Nebraski Bolta, Rakata Balarabasha, Rekata Kata, Rekata Kata, Banabacota, Rekata Banabacata, Rekata Banabacata, Rekata Banabacota, 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 Ya 
Let's go, 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 let's go
I'm seeing a wind blowing. There is a grace for intercession that is resting on people in this place right now. From the front to the back is a strange wind. May that grace come upon you now. A quickening. I'm seeing people. There's, there's just a wind and I'm seeing fire resting on people. It's an ignition. Even at the overflow outside. I'm seeing at the overflow Shalanta Skabaratosia Shatabradege de Balakatos Sabrande Gabarusa Sede Balata. You will never be the same, immersed in His glory. Prakatosa de la Sabanda Shalakosa da Haskabadiada. When He comes, you will know He's here. What do you do, sir? This man, you, yes. Real estate. Because I am seeing there is a breakthrough. December, this December. I don't know you from anywhere and I fear God. You've been trying to do something that has not worked. Is that true? You have tried, you've been disappointed. This is three times, one, two, three. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. But here at this conference, I bring you the rod of a higher priesthood. That in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I shift you into that possibility. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Please, wherever you are in one minute, open your mouth and make demand of something that must come upon your life in this conference. the grace for intercession 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 i'm hearing in my spirit i'm restoring I'm restoring I'm restoring this is what God is saying you have lost time you have lost things I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood help them please restoring families receiving restorations in the name of Jesus please help that woman just bask in that glory for a minute or two the lord is bringing you restoration by the spirit of the living god i don't know who this man is my friend look at me lift your hands i see an anointing coming upon you the lord is restoring everything you've lost take that grace now 
in the name of Jesus Christ restoring everything that was lost restoring everything that was lost there's a lady in the choir the Lord is bringing your family this year will not end before you see this restoration there is an anointing that is coming on you this is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying it doesn't take God alone it takes God and yielded men the power of God is coming on one of you and I'm seeing what looks like a chain breaking because Jesus is in the midst of his people I tell you the grace of God is mighty and strong in this place please just coordinate them just walk with the ushers in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me there is a name that is above every other name bring her the Lord says concerning your family remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold I do a new thing behold I do a new thing let the voice of lamentation come to end in your family in the name of Jesus the Christ of God did the Bible not say when you come on to Mount Zion there are in an innumerable company of angels it says therein is also the spirits of just men made perfect Jesus himself the first begotten what can't you do Jesus you are now in the name of Jesus for those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb I stand in faith with your pastor and I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names according to the time of life return with miracles believe it I'm not motivating you listen listen it is seen it is seen to make bold proclamations that you do not have the grace to support it the bible says that everyone should minister according to the measure of grace In the name that is above all names again by Jesus the head of the church we decree and declare in the name that is above all names barrenness of all sorts be gone now and forever be gone now and forever in the name of Jesus let me pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor I speak over your life that which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I declare that it lives your life now and forever help those under the anointing there Every door that has refused to open please hear me in the name of Jesus I speak to that door a father be open be open be open my God please help them be open hear me whatever should have entered your hand and by whatever means has refused to come in the name that is above all names I compel them into your hands now tonight in the name of Jesus a supernatural quickening upon your mind 
receive that grace in the name of Jesus that as you sleep tonight we activate visions and dreams revealing the matters of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ and can I speak over someone's life that before the sun rises tomorrow you would have returned with a fearful testimony I say this from the depth of my spirit every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the Bible says as they went the leper found out he had been cleansed as you go tonight I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ and by the ministry of angels strange testimonies strange encounters for some of you your prayer life that is dead or dying tonight fresh fire upon your prayer altar hallelujah praise the Lord please I want you to agree with me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of Jesus Christ delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man listen honor is a grace when that grace is not upon you no matter how noble you are you will never be honored honor is a grace and when that grace is on you only God can take it away it says and Jabez was more honorable than is not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the 
attitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen, is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to walk now. 
men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year I'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders you face speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of jesus for anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion the creative and prophetic power doors of delay I command you be opened in the name of us delay be gone delay be gone delay delay in marriage delay in jobs I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic body.
bondage every academic bondage kateka leko sopa repete latu sabadi adaka in the name of Jesus be free be free be free mental blockage be free from it academic bondage I set you free this is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning I prophesy it by the power of the highest I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration seven-fold restoration seven-fold seven-fold not one-fold not two-fold I speak it where you have been victimized any student here who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever i change it in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job i command fearful supernatural job in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now. In nine months time. You will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands. Oh. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows the anointing that brings you above I call you in the realm of the spirit rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS. A.S. We change your genotype. 
in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the lord is telling me let god's people walk to it and move forward in their life i command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it i place you inside it i take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life i release it move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you every egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an egyptian as surely as the lord god of israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace we take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names i command it to multiply this is what i'm demonstrating to you what i saw in the spirit that god is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the lord take you where your gift will be needed may the lord take you where your gift i command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand i command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and i pray that between now and the next 21 days i command angels of help i release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming zion's help the helper of zion move across families move across families i tell you as surely as the lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of god
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the Lord Jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row Take it, break through. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. Are we together? The very serious prayer we're going to pray now. You are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me, it's time for you to come out, it's time for you to go. Listen, as you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit I cast every devil I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost my mind my body around my life around Koinonia in the name of Jesus around my family if you are married also pray for your family pray for your children I cast every devil Spirit, not a 
for you in my mind. There's no place for you in my life. I come against ordinances. healing fibroid now the Lord is ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leaving people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can see anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this oppression. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. Shata skota ba shata diasa. Embra kato sabaro kato shekete balakaria. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This is one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, 
in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of jesus we release children from heaven we open every barren womb in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a group of people you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life please help them once upon a time i was rich once upon a time i was married once upon a time i was on fire for god once upon a time i was a pastor i had a church no the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day when your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday there is a spirit reversing the equation lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ my spirit is heavy circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house 
it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady i'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now let there be restoration now the lord is showing me someone every time you see someone die in the dream a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that i don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare all oh death where is thy sting all oh grave where is thy victory i prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the holy ghost i command that death to pass over your family i command that death to pass over your family Just, just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now this has to do with a group of ladies listen there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady, but every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter is a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now. Be free from that demonic siege now. Ah, hold on. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now 
by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that devil that spirit in the name of Jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest I'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that God is breaking now the moment that shout happens I will rebuke that the power of God is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern I say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I, my God I'm seeing a sword right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them Jesus look at what is happening there in the name of Jesus you know my voice I was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God I declare right now in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of Jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie in the name of Jesus fire I'm seeing fire that's what I'm seeing from heaven in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you in the spirit in the name of Jesus I cause the plague of witchcraft I cause the plague of witchcraft in the name of Jesus every voice speaking against everyone's destiny the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the Bible says he nailed it to the cross I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release help them please 
Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit, God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams, your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you, there are many of us you have lost things. Some you have lost time. Mashamakata, Lekotos Kabata. Joshua said, Son, go back, move, go back. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. hallelujah hallelujah obtained promises obtained promises obtained promises what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou received it and thou shall have it listen in the next two minutes i'd like you to receive things in the spirit the things that the bible said please don't take casual this opportunity we're operating under an anointing i'd like you to declare receive by faith in the name of jesus receive mantles receive anointings receive open doors receive favors receive ble blessings receive graces in the name of jesus receive ease That you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah i like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray Open your mouth and make the crease. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Shake it. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will shut. I decree and declare my path is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I leave I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul 
God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zambia, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. No failure in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalabarusa siaka parusa zit ende prato salagada brada gada bush shkabarato sabrande ge parusia tabaladaba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of Jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev Shalabarato Zagabarato Zedekas and Tekele Barato Sabaroto Zubahasa and Delegrando Sadabaru Sedias Krabagabaruda Sige Barudisias and Glato Sabrada Barato Ziatash in the name of Jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah in the name of Jesus agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. and the apostle says Lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord 
turn again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time no matter what you dominate if you do not dominate time you are not walking in dominion and i will restore the years many of us we've wasted time we've wasted opportunities in the name of jesus let there be restoration <laughs> hallelujah now i pray for you listen every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding 
of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a car that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place. And if you can believe, you will be surprised. 
you see I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this you know that I love you you are my people I'm committed to your growth please listen to me <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor I have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of God but I don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of God comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hefziba. You become a delight. A delight in the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints, I prophesy upon you, let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus I declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you yeah. hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not God the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for Joseph not God there are men who can help men all blessings come from God through men to men I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry yeah. 
hallelujah praise the lord i pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it a father be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the Spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday And I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God
may you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty I pray for every bond here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Manta kakaboko to baladaba. Mambre to skusete bele. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you. From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them, please. So that they don't preach. Be distinguished now. Shekete Pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me, there's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when God speaks there must be job in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever your job is I don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in Christ therefore I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 
Now! 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names. The Lord told me He will bring breakthrough. I want to prophesy it now. now. Whatever has limited you, whatever has limited your family, right now, in the name that is above all names, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command every limitation be broken now. Limitations be broken now. Limitations call pototota. Ay, 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 ay. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of Jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed I provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word I bring the word of the Lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house 
not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakato bosku prendiki jabalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place Kabo i pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom 
God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you Father in the name of Jesus Christ we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three I just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming I see it marriage is coming I see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek someone wants to get married before December I see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the Lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh God I speak right now let I every prayer like request so here on my head and for those streaming online I change it to be testimonies now everybody stand. in the name of Jesus please everybody stand I speak to you I speak to you prayer request believe in the Lord and that and which is established will share the fault believe in his prophets become testimonies and, shall and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give God thanks it is done hallelujah please as I speak I want you to believe it I want you to receive it 
while I prayed the Lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as I speak the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking all I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to hallelujah every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go hiv die hiv die ss change to aa ss change to aa AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, one and two, in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the holy ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see him, I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay because one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. 
that is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now Shake it, it, it. Catch fire! Catch fire! Now! Every altar! Shake it, it. Every altar! Catch fire! Catch fire! Now! Every altar! Against any family! Catch fire! Now! Shake it, it, it. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me, whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life, leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of Jesus those of us who are in business or your family members are in business I pray right now in the name that is above all names the Bible says 
it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of jesus expand in the name of jesus increase in the name of jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god and mark this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now 
no matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. So mm. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two Get ready now. Go protocoto. Three. Go press kete. Now. Now. I command those powers. I command powers. Inside and outside. In the overflow. Right now. Right now. Marco Pocotos. Embrekete. Soto Prosketa. In the name of Jesus. I command judgment. Judgment. Every altar. Every yoke. Outside. There are angels. Moving outside. There are angels. With mighty sword. Outside. No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete Soto Kota Mante Brakata Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want those outside to shout that name, Jesus. And there are people, I see chains, chains around people. At the count of three, those outside, the Holy Ghost is going to visit families. There is fire that will fall outside. Are you ready now, those outside? One, two, three. I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight, 
is a night of breakthrough. I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The Lord is asking me to count four. One, two, three, four. Take it now. Let it be yours. Straight wisdom. I'm seeing mantles falling. Mantles falling. Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but he stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration hallelujah there is a grace i feel like praying for students there is a grace for academic excellence listen it doesn't just happen believe me it's not just about what you learn there is a grace there is a, an exact grace for this lord i pray right now in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands to your people as many oh god as will please you let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate capacity to understand capacity to understand hallelujah hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, oh God. Believe me, let it come on them, oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension i don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire 
fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are ministering in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them strange fire I see strange fire rising from the feet rise on top from the feet rise on top from the feet please help them in the name of Jesus can you carry the child so that it doesn't in the name of Jesus strange fire revival fire supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction supernatural unction hallelujah the Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to beyond church beyond church beyond church hallelujah ah! i'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people it's a fresh fire it's a fresh fire hallelujah if you came with anything that is a point of contact whether a document certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use i want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the lord is lifting that person to the next level i'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh god right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you lift it up you can lift your hands
Okay, I'm ready to speak now. Jala Korosi Sekeli Parakishi. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Jebreketos Kalabranda Gata Sukata Priyasha. Let a a grace the power of performance that makes things to work i release it right now upon that instrument i release it upon your documents i release it upon your pictures i release it upon your certificates i release it upon your proposals hear me whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact i give life to it now in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now i speak to every cgpa that is down here hear my voice i speak as one sent by the lord i command you to arise now in the name of the lord jesus christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously i opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of jesus i introduce an anointing to that family and i command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the lord jesus i command that captivity to end now 
I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from home. Please believe me. I say it again, between now and the next seven days, I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me Every pending issue over your life every pending issue any kind of pending issue right now issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved I decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, shake it here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough
everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ whose i am and whom i serve i decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends help us to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child the lord is ministering to me the lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of jesus i command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of jesus i command your fruitful vine to become a forest i say it again in the name of jesus i command your desert to be a fruitful vine i command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in one minute i want you to ask the lord for any one thing i'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray i'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the lord and watch it happen i release my faith with you in the name of jesus i release my faith with you ask the lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the god of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living god what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what you will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of god are you praying just one thing 
change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah whatever it is that you have asked the lord i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony in the name of jesus christ i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony listen the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of jesus christ no matter how impossible it is may the god of all flesh the god of jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind i pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave his physical notes on paper you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen bye this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by armed robbers in the name of jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time 
the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i ask finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock god in your life i am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart i give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you in the name of jesus father i pray even for these ones and i decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience the kind of results that follow submission the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones in the name of jesus i declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of god the father the name of god the son and the spirit i decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of god in the mighty name the of jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of jesus christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life i speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of jesus christ access to kings in the name of jesus christ I have set before you an open door. I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for strange signs and wonders. Wonders of the spirit. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to descend the grace upon your life. I compel men to descend the hand of God upon you. I compel men to descend the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer 
concerning favor and your finances please allow me pray it God sees my heart God sees how much I pray for you every time there is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into and the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you I pray for you in the name of Jesus the wealth that comes by prophecy I speak to your life carry that grace now 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty I speak wine and oil to your treasury in the mighty name of Jesus Christ The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them legislate on behalf of the kingdom may the grace for that favor rest upon you enter into prepared blessings let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences Hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing I tear that veil now I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying. No, every utterance is backed by the throne. I'm not speaking as a man. When God calls men, he backs them. And that every door you must enter in this season. Because we advance through the entrance of doors. I speak to that door. Let it be open for you now. Let it be open for you now. Indeed, it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped. Marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace. We will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan we will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory Rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace I may be a young man but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see I want you to believe it you have taken all the shame You've taken all disappointments You've taken all the pain You've taken all my sorrows You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my sufferings You've taken all my tears You've taken all my weakness Nina Yimaka don't don't sing i'm praying for you you've taken all my sadness you've taken all my weakness you've taken all my limitations you've taken all my poverty You've taken all my dishonor. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my struggles. You have made them yours. You have made them yours. You've taken all my 
my sadness you've taken all my tears you've taken all my sorrow you've taken all my weakness you've taken all my struggles you've taken all my fears you've taken all my weakness you've taken all my mountains you've taken all those mountains you've taken all my mountains i give you i give you i give you my highest praise i give you i give you lord for everything you've done in my life lord i give you i give you i give you my highest praise i give you i pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper i stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit i release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper i release it from the depth of my spirit The Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence. Honor is a mantle. It can be put on people. I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace right now, as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. I know our time is gone, but just pay attention. You are receiving something that will change your life. I decree and declare. There is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise. There is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere. I prophesy to you. Let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces encounters of angels encounters with the realm of the spirit i open you up to a portal in the realm of the spirit begin to have encounters from today receive visitations receive visitations receive visitations visitations of angels visitations of the spirit visitations in visions visitations in dreams May there be new revelation. Listen, a lot of the impartations I've received have come to me in visions. Well, literally in visions, I receive impartations. I have met with the saints. The spirits of just men made this is not diabolism i have received from men in the flesh but i've received from men in the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit every mantle every grace 
that must make the supernatural begin to work in your life receive it right now in the name of jesus hear me everyone in ministry here from today i launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders strange signs and wonders strange signs a performance a performance of the word hallelujah I pray for everyone here called into the area of business called into the area of finances or anyone trusting God to lift you there is a grace that establishes men I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen i've shared with you the story i don't talk too much about myself hallelujah it was last year right here in three weeks god gave me a gold mine in three weeks god gave me a gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine i never saw it once till i got it there is a grace that empowers men you better believe it i stand here tonight in the name that is above all names i prophesy to you enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings beyond your certificate enter into prepared blessings beyond your job enter into prepared blessings One of the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection. There are many of you, the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that place. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today, I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, quarter to shame, may help arise for you. The last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed. Some of us are too slow. And it's not just by God. Something that will take you two days, will take you six months. It's not a testimony again. I want to prophesy speed. He must land on someone. He may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. May somebody here carry this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Hear me, whoever fights you in the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I don't know what has left your life. You are crying till now. Because it looks like when you miss that thing, you miss everything. Jacob's kata, Mantes Calabria Tacososia, Jebreze Sutosco Maria Tacata, Ebreze Sekete Kete Kere Kete, Rekoto Shopo Kotos, Ebratas Calapa Shadia, 
Everything that left your life in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. Hallelujah. And for everyone who is a worker in this ministry, in the name of Jesus, I decree to you, let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, ushering, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now, bodily now, bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. grown to respect the power of prophecy I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything Shout Amen. This is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Please lay your hands on your head. I pray. Father, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Shake it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. Now. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here. Trusting God for direction. In the name of Jesus. May the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do, I speak over your life. Go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. In the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may that favor come upon your life. May that favor come upon your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, Everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. Right now, shekatatata, reketeketa, everything that has died in your hands. I don't care what it is. I'm prophesying to you. Everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, 
that same voice that called Lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job the hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus i pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of god receive the strength of god in the name of jesus christ between now and next week koinonia i pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually i command the restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of jesus christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of jesus every legal access satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder 
may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of jesus and made a wonder out of him from today do you know the holy ghost took saw it, may you see and produced a king out of him as you speak do you know the holy ghost took the borah and made a wonder out of her do you know the holy ghost turned jesus the word into a baby he made god become a baby he is that powerful he made god to become a baby and put him in the womb of a woman without surgery do you know the holy ghost made saul to become the wonder that he became the holy ghost made archbishop benson idahosa took him the holy ghost took smith wigglesworth from a plumber and made an apostle of faith out of him the holy ghost took a weak woman like catherine kuman and made a wonder out of her the holy ghost took an ordinary businessman called walmart and made him among the world's first six rich people or the, the, the world 50 the richest 50 people what can the holy ghost not do in your life why do you limit him why do you underestimate his power i watched Catherine kuman grow and she said i don't want to live five minutes without the holy ghost i didn't understand what she was saying you are the power in me listen to this song you are the fire at work in me you are my ever-present helper holy spirit i adore listen hear me it's not normal to see an ordinary human being doing extraordinary things can you not see that there is a force that can produce faith out of a man what makes some people not doubt what makes others strong we have neglected him we are looking for prosperity we are looking for power we are looking for titles he is the one jesus listen jesus said i can do nothing of my own but as I see my father, the Holy Ghost directed Jesus Christ and brought him to a place of power. And the Bible says the spirit and the bride say come. Do you realize, listen to me, that you can do nothing without him? Oh, if you could hear his voice many things in your life will come into order oh if you could understand his leadings certain sicknesses will dissolve and die out of your life oh if you would know his power all the people that come to sleep with you in the night and oppress you will go forever if you know him where the spirit of the lord is my bible says there is liberty there cannot be bondage bondage is an absence of his presence and now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty hallelujah when the holy ghost was about to leave jesus christ jesus cried in gethsemane he said what can i do without you holy spirit and he said father if it be thy will if there is another method you can walk without taking the spirit from me and the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence oh lord take not your holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of my salvation 
and renew a right spirit within me there is something called the joy of salvation when you live a sick free life it brings the joy of salvation when you walk in prosperity it brings the joy of salvation there are many of us today you are confident you are going to heaven tomorrow you do not even know again the Holy Ghost you have said oh Lord can you open the Bible to me oh yes the Bible says Jesus said and when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth he will teach you he will bring to your remembrance he said I have many things to share with you but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth the Bible calls him the spirit of truth he will lie to you he will lie to you if he tells you your life is blessed he can make you become blessed if he tells you you will marry he can make you get married tonight we are going to cry and say Holy Ghost reintroduce yourself to me I've known you as the one who so 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 and so person works with I like you to pray I know many of you don't understand the gravity of this prayer I tell you the knowledge of the spirit will end many things in your life so go ahead and cry and say Holy Ghost you revealed yourself to Kate and Kuman ladies a woman shook her generation how about you let my ears hear your voice Holy Spirit pray if it is true that you speak unto men let my ears hear your voice my sheep hear my voice accurate perception in the spirit Holy Ghost end confusion in my life until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be turned into a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine will be turned into a forest go ahead and pray and say Holy Ghost turn my wilderness turn my wilderness give me the joy of salvation let me understand what it means to fellowship with the Holy Ghost let me know what it means to hear your voice let me know what it means to walk in intimacy with you I'm tired of religion pray and say Lord I'm tired of pretending like I'm hearing you when I'm not I'm tired of pretending like you are leading me say Lord I've had different messages but I'm not satisfied I know you lead men you can end confusion in a man's life trust him he can lead you to destiny he can lead you to your wife he can lead you to your husband he can lead you to a miracle I believe his ministry he can show you what is wrong in your family he can tell you what to do I'm telling you he will tell you what keys to use Isaiah 30 and thou shalt hear a voice from behind the saying this is the way walk ye in it and as a result you will find rest for your souls he can teach you Holy Ghost reveal yourself reveal yourself give us encounters reveal yourself the fellowship of the Spirit the fellowship of the Spirit 
Alléluia. Listen. Brothers and sisters, when you find him, you will stop wasting your time in life. Cause he'll lead you and guide you to the city of above. He'll lead you and guide you to the place of destiny. That's his ministry. He'll lead you and guide you to the city of above. It doesn't matter what your background is. He'll lead you and guide you. Place of destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the reason why I was born. Are you listening to me? Are you ready to pray this prayer? Say, Lord, I'm tired of escorting men in destiny. The reason why I was born. He told Jeremiah. He said, before you were born, while you were still in your mother's womb, I called you and ordained you to be a prophet. Hear me, friends. Until you discover your place in destiny, you will never find fulfillment. Are you listening to me? We are going to pray and say, Lord, can you show me I went to the dam, ABU dam, many times and I was crying. I said, Lord, what is my purpose for living? I didn't come because my father and my mother came together. Why did somebody die this morning and it was not me? I'm an answer to the prayer point of someone. Somebody's prayer point necessitated my delivery. I will not die. I owe my generation a debt that I must pay. I'd like you to pray. And for the first time in your life, for some of you, cry and say, Lord, why am I here? Men of greatness ask this question. This is what begins to introduce the ministry of the Spirit. Pray. Say, Lord, am I just here to marry a man? Am I just here to wait until a man gives me meaning? Am I just here to wait until I have children? Lift your voice and cry. Say, Lord, what is my reason for living? You didn't just bring me to be a student. Let me know the joy of finding my place in life. Let me know the joy of finding my assignment. Please pray. Because the Holy Ghost is going to be revealing to men. Jesus, in Luke chapter 4 from verse 17, he opened the book as it was given to him. And he read the prophecy that Isaiah wrote. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, to set the captives free, to bind up the brokenhearted, to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. He said, today is this scripture fulfilled. The Bible says, for this purpose, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. For what purpose were you made manifest? Jeremiah 33 verse 3, call unto me, and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call unto me. Call unto me. And I will answer. I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things about your life, about your future, about your destiny.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Do you know something has happened to you tonight? See, listen to me. We are programming you to be great. This is a programming. We are giving you a mindset. It's a programming. The end is predictable. It's a programming. The Bible says, listen, it said there is no man who warreth, who will entangle himself with civilian affairs. He says he that desires mastery, he said if a man desires mastery, yet is he not crowned until he strives lawfully. There are many vessels in the house of God. Vessels of gold, vessels of silver, vessels of clay. Hallelujah. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, He sees four horns. These horns scattered around Judah. They are the ones who go and cause wickedness. And he said, Behold, I send you carpenters. And we are the carpenters that God is sending. chisel and put things in order you may not see the effect now you may think it's just a sacrifice for nothing but it's a programming that will bring you into a realm of glory where you will become usable and then in it you will find rest hallelujah hallelujah we come from different families different backgrounds different spiritual exposures our job is to bring you into the truth of god's word regardless of what has been your mindset before hear me friends sacrifice is a language in the spirit it endorses you for greatness Gather unto me, my people, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. This is to make you rise. You will not notice the changes, but when you step out, you will see the beauty and the glory of God upon your life. And then you will know, you will know that you have been alive and walking with the Spirit. If you stay with him in the secret, he will not disappoint you in the open. I assure you. And the Bible says, Obadiah 21, Saviors shall arise. They shall come out of Zion and they shall judge the mount of Esau. You are that Savior. You are that Savior. I wish the Lord can show you a glimpse of your future. If you saw that there is no sacrifice you cannot pay. That life of unnecessary or convenience at this realm. It will not make you a champion. I won't deceive you. The person who loves you is the one who will tell you the truth at any cost. I will not deceive you. Generals did not become generals just by wishing. This is the pathway. And the Bible says, men of David, ordinary men. And they came to him in the cave of Adullam. And David made warriors out of them. To the point that one of them was such a warrior, the sword would cleave to his hand. And even when he turned it upside down, the sword would not fall. And he said, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We are making you a manifestation of the word of God. We are not producing members out of you. We are producing citizens of the kingdom. Are you listening to me? This is an apostolic ministry. 
we train you and then God announces you and sends you some of you here will be bishops of parishes we cannot afford to do a half big job on you you will cost catastrophe there are many of you that the revival of nations are upon your shoulders and now that we have the privilege we will drill you until iron sharpens iron and then when you step out you will be a sign and a wonder these prayers and this exposure to the word and the spirit will prune out different things from your life bad habits immaturity suddenly you will find out the bible says strong meat belongs to them who are of full age who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern good and evil how amiable are your ways O lord the bible says he showed his way to moses this is the way of the lord we are teaching you how to be miracle workers it's enough to come and lay hands it's enough to come and say look come for miracles but we will do that during the miracle service are you listening to me you are not the one in need of miracles you are the one that god is preparing so that he will send and the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards and then as a result will project in light and bear fruit upwards he said he that bears fruit john 15 my father will prune so god prunes those who are already bearing fruit in agric we call it pruning we remove the unnecessary leaves and all the resistances and then the tree is able to grow again for the kingdom of god is like a little seed planted in the earth and then it grows and it becomes a big tree this is what god is producing out of your life you may look weak you may look beggarly god did not send us to gather people who are already made no our job is that you come as you are and by the agency of the word of god and the spirit there is a translation in you many of you are coming under the disguise of education you are coming under the disguise of different things and god is bringing you and summoning you and one day you will blow the shofar and the nations will stand and listen to you can anything good come out of nazareth that's the testimony of some of you looking at me you know that if god does not help you the prophecies of your uncles over your life will come to pass just as they are predicted that you will be a useless boy that you will be a useless girl but while you are going the holy ghost intercepts and say not so not when i am here come and i will make you we will have the opportunity to watch some of you on tv one day we will have the opportunity to see many of you with your cathedrals and parishes and we will be proud that we invested the word of god we won't let you look at us tomorrow and said you are wicked people you didn't train us well we prayed for five minutes you were afraid of our feelings no sir you can insult me now there's no problem you will tell me thank you in the future there is a path so that when you see another person who claims to be entering the power of god through another means you can discern by your experience that this is not of god hallelujah there is a pathway that leads to glory and power when you see a man who is not walking in that path you know that his result is questionable because that id card in the spirit is not there hallelujah come and i will make you we're going to pray again hallelujah we're going to pray if you're tired lie down sleep whatever you want to do do it here 
because to sleep in the presence of God is better than going to go and jump around somewhere. Samuel was sleeping, but he was near the ark and he had the voice. So it's better to sleep at least in the presence of God. You will pray tonight. We love you too much to leave you the way you are. Tears may come out of your eyes, but it's a track record in the spirit. You may forget about it, but one day God will tell you it is on account of this sacrifice. I have sworn by my name you cannot but be great. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. Edifieth himself. And line upon line. In the next few minutes we will pray. Luke 18 verse 1. And he spake this parable unto them. To the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. First Thessalonians 5 17. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Quicken us and we will call upon your name. Elijah was a man of like passion, like us, but he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years. And Elijah said, there will be no rain except by my word. And after three and a half years, he went to pray. The Bible says he went and prayed once. And sent his servant and he said, I do not see a sign. He said, I won't give up. I will pray again. Go back and check. He said, there is no sign. He said, why don't we give up? He said, no, generals don't do it that way. Pray again. I count him faithful. I know I'm not praying to an idol. And at the seventh time, he came back. He said, Master, I didn't see much. I only saw a feast. Because he delivers with his mighty right hand. And he gave a sign of his hand in the cloud. And Elijah said, that is it. I have been able to successfully transport realities from the realm of the spirit. And they have entered the corridors of time. And they have manifested in this realm. And he told us, saddle your ass, for I hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain. The Bible says, the hand that he saw came upon him and he guarded his loins. And on bare foot, he began to run until he overtook the chariots of Ahaz. While the disciples were journeying on the boat, that's how many people are journeying through life. They are using boats and they are moving. They seem to be going ahead. But like Jesus, we are staying behind and we are praying. After six hours, which is the number of man, when his grace comes upon us, we will get up and walk on the water. While they are rowing their boat and facing the storms of life, we will be walking as if Satan does not exist. I choose to be extraordinary I choose to be a sign and a wonder not because I'm a man of God I hope you know this has nothing to do with ministry too hot for the devil to earn that when they are enchanting things about you and they carry your picture to a shrine as soon as they call your name the fire that will come out there will be an eternal lesson that there are people and there are people. The Bible says there are many kinds of bodies. There are celestial, there are terrestrial. Not everybody is the same. Not everybody is the same. The person who takes my picture to a herbalist, my fear is not the person, is the herbalist. And you be so much of a threat to the kingdom of darkness that even at your default state you are on fire hallelujah i listened to a tape by someone he's an evangelist and he used to be in the occult and this is what he told me he said satan brings it's like a blanket the Bible says the God of this world, the God of this system has blinded their minds. Hallelujah. And then 
the blanket is over people and when they begin to pray what happens there is a breaking that's why sometimes when you start praying you see that you sense that there is a resistance you are struggling you are moving you don't even know what is happening in the spirit and sometimes you just feel like sleeping and some of you just start and later on you are still like clean the saliva and get up you will not go far that way brothers and sisters i won't lie to you anybody that tells you your prayer life is not important is the enemy you should be praying about hallelujah and while you pray there is the fire of the holy ghost i know you've had different teachings on fire one day i'll give you a scriptural teaching on fire fire is neither solid nor liquid are you listening to me fire is not threatened by anything you cannot box fire and put it in a hole you can't even catch it but you cannot resist the effect when you put your hand you can't hold fire you can't it's not solid so when you hear people say holy ghost fire i know that there are all kinds of exaggeration but brother there is a separate baptism called the baptism of fire he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and fire when that comes upon your life you enter the role of those who have registers in the realm of the spirit they are called touch not and that's what we want you to become You look at someone and they say this person has been oppressed by demons and you don't just sit and say hey, hey, hey what shall we do and then you're not just trying to activate your faith bring it out bring it out activate it no no you rise to a plane where as soon as you enter the room is the demons that will be negotiating they'll say we know you will cast us but we want to beg you can we give you where we want to go and he said go out just leave i was told that there was an event that happened in redeem camp some people gathered and they were praying over one demon possessed man and they spent hours because until you stand before the burning bush you cannot stand before pharaoh hallelujah and the man was peeling banana the white man wore his hat and he was just eating banana and he saw them struggling he said what's going on here he said we are trying he just came he tapped the man he told the demons out instantly all of them left see there are celestial beings there are terrestrial beings not everybody is equal in the spirit you may wear the same jeans 2005 you may buy the same polo shirt but when you begin to pray there is an earthquake in the spirit and they say whose voice is this because the bible says when the lepers the lepers in samaria they said why we sit here until we die let us get up in the spirit their sound was amplified and they had chariots that when you begin to pray they look at you in the spirit and say who is this man that looks like god that was the testimony of the three hebrew boys they said the fourth person we see standing looks like the son of god rise up on your feet ah, hello him ah, Elohim Madonna ah, Elohim Madonna
God is telling me that as we begin to pray many of you will activate the ministry of angels in your life many of you have not really enjoyed the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits sent to minister let me give you three testimonies quickly are you listening to me my first major encounter with the physical man i'm not talking of angels in the spirit now i was in mararaba and we entered a bus it was me and manasse and i left my wallet in the bus and i came down and now it was a busy market and everybody just left and manasse took a bike to follow them i left it we all saw it inside and when i just stood there i wasn't praying and the next thing i saw a man limping with my wallet he came to me he said take literally literally hallelujah we went for crusade in Pangshin 2006 or 7 as soon as we went to the venue a man walked up to me and said go around the city publicizing just use a loudspeaker go around the city and I, I, I saw him walking and I turned to do something and when I turned back I did not see him again don't you think everybody in this auditorium is a human being you will be misled there are times that I preach and I see that some of the people sitting inside and outside are angels the moment I see them in the spirit they stand up and they walk away it's just that we don't share experiences I'm telling you the Bible says he are common to Mount Zion some of you finish koinonia and someone just holds your hands the bible says be good to all men for in this some of you have entertained angels unaware you have entered buses with them from cgc down to northgate you gisted with them from the day you met them something happened to you in the night you could not explain you saw some faces in koinonia you have never seen again You came late and you wanted to leave you know that all the ushers were inside suddenly you saw another usher telling you why don't you come and sit down and they gather all the ushers you cannot see the person again many of us have not activated ourselves in the place of prayer to begin to respond Kenneth E. Hagin walked in a realm where he enjoyed the ministry of angels they would come in his meeting and he would look at them and say hi how are you and call their names do you know that one angel destroyed an entire battalion of armies one and there are all kinds of angels there are ministering spirits there is the northern army of the lord who will take time in a prayer series if we take it again and will teach on angels he said oh daniel from the first day that you did set your face to pray he said your request was heard and while he was coming he was interrupted in the second heavens because the prince the spiritual wickedness that governs the territory of Persia, stopped him and because it was not in the office of gabriel to fight he could not do anything until michael the archangel came to the rescue and he said i am come to bring the understanding every time there are shiftings in the spirit satan does not understand timings but he can see an unusual manifestation of the angelic and he knows that angels respond to the pleadings of the lord especially when messenger angels begin to come they come into your life when seasons are shifting when gabriel came to mary it was a season in her life when he came to Zacharias, he said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of the Lord. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, tonight I activate the ministry of angels. Lift your voice and pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the angels of the Lord 
Basata Bakata, Randa Bareke Bos, Mambra Teke Boshia. The angel of the Lord encamp them that fear him. I activate the ministry of angels. I activate the ministry of angels. Angels of finances. Miracle angels. Breakthrough angels. Worship angels. To bring songs. To bring skills. Angels of understanding. The northern army of the Lord. The ministering spirits. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are a minister of the gospel here, let me teach you a secret. Have you ever had people pray a prayer and say, I position the angels of my anointing? Have you ever had church prayers? One scripture. Turn with me to Revelations 1. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Let me show you a powerful mystery. The Bible says in Psalm 103 that the angels of God who excel in strength, who confirms the words of his messengers. Quickly, Revelations 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, so God gave him a ministry. What's the ministry? To show, to reveal unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Listen. And he sent and signified it by what? He said his angel, the angel of the one who the message was given to. That means an angel was sent every time God gives you a message. Every time God gives you a teaching. There are angels that are sent with that revelation the job of those angels is to stand in partnership with the holy ghost to ensure that the words gain performance in your life and so they stop the cohorts of darkness that will want to come and steal the seed of god's word in you that's why some of you while you are listening you want to get up and go out suddenly you find out that something will keep you back the angels the angels of the lord and then while sitting a revelation will hit your spirit and that ends it or a word of knowledge is about to be given to you and demons want to distract you as soon as you go out you will see your friend coming and he will just drag you or you will stand and literally feel a resistance we are going to pray and say Lord there are angels you have assigned to my life, to my destiny, to my ministry. Lord, I pray right now, may they be activated to the fullness of their ministry. Go ahead and pray. William Brown had an angel that would come to give him uncommon insight and understanding. Are you praying? Ratabaka Shadabalaraba. Randa Proska Bajidema. Lord, we activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. We activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. Angels that follow this ministry, we activate you. The angels assigned to Koinonia, we activate you to bring healing, to bring breakthrough, to bring prosperity. In the name of Jesus, the angel that follow everyone in Koinonia, let them be activated. Please pray over your family. There are angels. Declare and say, let there be the activity of angels in my family. Bring in finances. Bring in healing. Angels of revelation and understanding, angels of worship. The Northern Army. Rapashata Katabalaraba. 
The angels of the Lord that excel in strength, we permit your ministry in Koinonia. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. Breakthrough, healing, deliverance. Cause testimonies to above. Let lives be changed. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Sing it with all your heart. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory, you're the lifter up of my head. Say thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. That's what has happened to you. Thank you for lifting. My head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. I want to pray that an impartation of the Spirit will come upon you. Hallelujah. I tell you, the angels, listen, the angels in this place are more than the people here. Hallelujah. I will pray. Expect something to happen to you. Expect fire. Expect an anointing because I see the fire of the Lord upon my hand. That's what I see. The fire of the Lord. And He tells me, release it. And so I release it right now. Now let it move across my left and my right by the ministry of the angelic. Now, all over the building, move. Now, power of God. Let there be an activity of the angelic right now across the building by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Stay anointing. Stay gifting. Feel your work. Shake it. Side of the congregation, lift your hands. I stretch my hands. Let the fire come upon you now. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Shake it, take it, take it. I break up the book. They go here. Angels of the Lord, move and put the crowns that you show me upon the heads of men. Crowns, crowns, crowns. The Lord shows me crowns. Upon the hands of men. Everything that has li limited you. In the name that is above all names. I command that limitation. To disappear from your life forever. You to shout your amen like you believe it. I command every infirmity that is in your body, I cast it from its root. Be free from it now in the name of Jesus. Everyone marked for death here, whether by sickness, by the sword, by accident, I lift that ban over your life in the name of Jesus. I command the fountains of favor to break open in your life right now. Receive favor. Financial favor. 
favor of destiny help us in the name of Jesus I declare over your life that any habit and any lifestyle that has challenged you that you are tired of let it fall from your life now in the name of Jesus Every tongue that rises up against you, katata I command right now. The Bible says in Job 5, it says he will deliver you from the scorching tongues of men. I command that every tongue that rises up against you will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. I command the Lord to judge evil doers in your life. In the name of Jesus every level you would have been right now that satan stopped you from coming right now by the power the spirit that came upon elijah that caused him to run i invoke from the realm of the spirit let there be acceleration to your life in the name of jesus hallelujah Every dead prayer life in this place. Five minutes prayer. Two minutes prayer. I cause it to its root. In the name of Jesus. Every appetite and loss for sin. Loss for evil. Loss for immorality. Whether it be money, ladies, men, whatever. I curse it in the name of Jesus. The grace to live a life of true holiness and righteousness. The grace to say no to everything that is not consistent with God's word. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. Every kind of addiction in this place, whether it's drinking, womanizing, falsehood whatever it is you are free from it right now and forever i release angelic encounters in your life you will see them in your dreams they will give you direction they will tell you secrets they will show you mysteries about the world mysteries about your life in the name of the lord jesus I pray for you that as you walk out of this place tonight you become a literal manifestation of signs and wonders go and do the things that you could not do go and lay hands on the sick and watch them recover go and cast out devils go and win souls people who you are preached to that refuse to get born again go back again with this anointing and you will win them over your family members no matter how hardened they are in the name of jesus hallelujah there are many of you who are timid you have complex you don't believe in yourself right now in the name that is above every other name you laugh but you are suffering complex you always think you will not amount to anything or you think and it makes you always offensive at others in the name that is above all names for god has not given us the spirit of timidity but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind by the power of the holy ghost let inferiority and complex the lies that satan has spoken to you that keeps you where you are i curse it in the name of jesus whatever testimony is still pending in your life I pull it from the realm of the spirit 
and I release it to your life. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life and your destiny. No one will terminate your destiny in the name of Jesus. Every pronouncement that has been made upon your life I declare as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives I command a new beginning for you those pronouncements come to null and void in the name of Jesus whatever mindset that Satan has used as a stronghold in your life that you don't want to let go but is stopping you from entering the blessings of God I shatter that stronghold in the name of Jesus for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ go and enjoy the favor of the Lord go and enjoy the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus let the word of God come alive let there be unusual understanding that right now as you study the word something will happen to your spirit man unusual insights you will learn things you were not taught by anybody receive it in the name of Jesus the spirit of wisdom the spirit of revelation the spirit of understanding let the bread of the spirit be broken let your eyes be open. I take away the fail from your eyes. Grace to walk in obedience to God's word. That is not just an individual, but is a pattern that is written here. As God is visiting you here, every other person connected to you whose request you have written here, we command a miracle for them where they are. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are situations here that need the blood. I declare by the mystery of the blood. There are three that bear witness in the heavens. Three that bear witness in the heavens. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. By the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant, we cancel every ordinance that sponsors continuity of this request. In the name of Jesus. And the king could not sleep in the night. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And he saw there written what Mordecai did. Whoever must remember you for this request to be granted by the God of heaven, we open the book of remembrance tonight. Any man holding what belongs to you, which is the reason we shown them to release it now. Every family here wept in shame and reproach. It looks like there is no dignity. The speakings of God does not seem to find expression here. I agree with you tonight by the God of heaven. Please help those under the anointing. That by the power of the Holy Ghost, shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you have dropped here, by the God of heaven, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. The same way I stand upon this request, I command that you stand upon every, I command that you stand upon every challenge. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Now I speak over your life. The doors that have followed you here closed. In the name of Jesus, please believe. Let your, don't be distracted. Focus on the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those doors be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every grounded ministry here, every grounded business, every grounded family, hear the word of the Lord. I command and I declare, come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. To life. Every helper assigned from God who has not yet paid attention to you and what you request, I stand by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, I compel them to attend to your matter. I compel them to attend to your matter. I compel them to attend to your matter. Everything that should have happened and has not yet happened, according to the program of God, you know you should have entered that level and you are not there. By prophecy, I push you to that level. By prophecy, I push you to that level. Listen. You see, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm not just speaking. I'm seeing something upon your life. You may not see it, but you leave this place and watch what happens to you. Then you will see things turn around. Let me pray for you. The kind of favor that must bring acceleration to your life. Please receive this one. In the name that is above all names, may that mantle like a cloak. Take favor. Take favor. Carry favor. Carry favor. In the name of Jesus. Every area you have struggled in your life, you have done what you know to do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that struggle comes to end now. Now please listen. The anointing your destiny needs for this season. Please listen. Every season has a grace requirement. Every season. There are doors that don't just open because you stand in front of them. Yes, today's anointing will not move you to tomorrow's place. I pray for you. This is an impartation. Wherever you are, I declare like the dew of heaven, the kind of grace you must carry for this season. Let it land on your destiny now. By this anointing, I forbid you from being ignored. In the name of Jesus Christ, I forbid you from being ignored. I forbid you from being treated alive. No man will look down on you. They came to Jesus and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do these things except God be with him. The things that must be done through your hands in this season, for it to be said, this is the Lord's doing. As you are lifting your hands, may a fresh unction from heaven come upon those hands for exploit. Anyone in ministry here, I declare over you, go back to your various assemblies and platforms. Let there be fire on your altar. Father on your altar, Father on the ministration, let the gifts of the Spirit work powerfully in the name of Jesus. We're rounded, rounded up. Let's pray over our finances. This issue of finance 
is bringing many people to their knees. Bringing many families to their knees. Distracting people. The time we should spend on the things of the kingdom. We are focusing on money. What to eat. What to wear. House rent. Building projects. It is not the will of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Ebenezer, the helper of men, I declare this month, even beginning from today, receive strange financial help. Receive strange financial help. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you strange financial help. Everyone under the sound of my voice, trusting God for an honorable job. Listen, there are jobs that don't have honor. They are time wasters. They are devourers. I pray for you. The kind of job that represents dignity, that will honor you and help you to build your home well. May the God of heaven give you such a job. Let me pray for your spiritual life. If you have cars, you have houses, and your spiritual life is not on fire, you are not doing well. The first index to measure prosperity in the kingdom is the health of your spiritual life. That your prayer life fire, word life fire, fellowship with the spirit fire. No room for up today, down tomorrow. I pray for you, fresh fire upon your prayer life. 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 Every lukewarmness, slumber, gluttony, these spirits that destroy your spiritual fervency, I declare in the name of Jesus, receive victory over them. The grace that can keep a man in the presence of God. The, the staying power that you can stay with the world. Stay in prayer. Not rushing and rush out and one power. God is not a magician. I pray for you. The unction to stay. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every dimension in the spirit that is supposed to have been activated. There are some of you now, listen, there are levels of graces you should have left sincerely. There are dimensions of power. There are haziness, certain dimensions of haziness in your spiritual perception. There is a level of authority. There is an office you should be sitting on now. But it's not yet there. I pray for you. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. Listen. Everything in your life that has refused to grow. God gave you a ministry that membership, nobody is placing a demand on your grace. God gave you a business, it has refused to grow. No increase, no impact. Anything that is alive grows. Whatever has stopped growth in your life, I bring that thing to an end now. Finally, let me pray, please. The spirit of infirmity. I told you that this is, this is, I came to pray and rebuke that spirit. Because that spirit, like the angel of death, is moving over families. Attacking children. Attacking all kinds of people. Headache will just kill a man for nothing. Kata, and they will say it's cancer. Pain around your breast. They will say you have a malignant a tumor. See, let me tell you, whatever you don't fight to victory will remain in your life. 
challenges are not the issue, but that you stand and fight the good fight of faith until you see what God said. If you have not seen what God said, don't stop. I pray for you. The spirit of a warrior, the grace that will cause you to refuse to allow things that are not the will of God, may that grace rest upon you now. As a body of believers, we agree that the spirit of infirmity first over this family, number two over this territory, and number three over the body of Christ. Thou spirit of infirmity, we punish your operation now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence the destruction that wasted at noonday the spirit of death if there is anyone here that death is looming around the corridors of your life or your loved ones or those connected to you spiritually and by bloodline i declare let death lose its grip over you now Receive the last prayer that I pray for you to end this miracle service. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Please listen. Honor is a real grace. You can do everything to bring honor and yet honor will not come. Honor is not about you usurping authority over people. Grace. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God has anointed you. With an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. The kind of honor that needs to distinguish you. For the sake of the kingdom in this your life. May I that stand grace, by the grace and may of that God honor rest upon and I you. Declare, walk under open heavens. Walk in the name under of Jesus open heavens. I speak open in the heavens name of for Jesus ministry. Christ. Open heavens for career. In the with mighty name heaven. of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, hear me, that any voice that speaks against you until Raise now, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare that voice is silenced forever. Silence forever. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you need for your assignment i stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and i command your life to continue to receive it in the name of jesus christ i speak to the spirit of death i command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ for those of you that god will honor to be in the ministry i strengthen your hands make maximum impact by the spirit signs and wonders the accurate communication of the word of god in the name of jesus christ i declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation in the name of jesus christ regardless of your background i forbid you from being ignored in the name of jesus christ everything that has refused to walk in your life by this grace that you have received i command it to begin to walk in the name of jesus may your eyes be open access to illumination by the spirit i declare that the holy spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ i command that the graces are located for your offices. May you step into those graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. The Bible says, He shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water. Everyone is allocated to a spiritual family. 
this is a tribe and a family and there are possibilities that come with this family every grace that has been deposited by covenant signified by the angel of his presence may it work for you in the name of jesus may it work for you in the name of jesus i command that it works for you in the name of jesus and i will multiply them they will not be few and i will glorify them they will not be small i speak that prophecy over your life in the name of jesus christ the last prayer i will pray for you for is the gift of men the grace the bible says the lord sends the word but great be the company of them that publish it i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west that every project every advocacy that your life proposes may men rise up to support you in the name of jesus christ you will become an epistle of the wonder working power of god in the mighty name of jesus father i pray even for these ones and I decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience, the kind of results that follow submission, the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names, may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones. In the name of Jesus. I declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of God the Father the name of God the Son and the Spirit I decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of God in the mighty name of Jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here May that grace rest upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace that will bring you into strange dimensions. Wonder walking dimensions of results. May that grace rest upon your life. I speak upon your life. Access to kings. May that grace come upon you. Access to kings. In the name of Jesus Christ, access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ. I have set before you an open door. I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for strange signs and wonders. Wonders of the Spirit. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season. And in the name of Jesus, in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to discern the grace upon your life. I compel men to discern the hand of God upon you. I compel men to discern the unction upon you.
Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me to pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The wealth that comes by prophecy, I speak to your life. Carry that grace now. 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty. I speak wine and oil to your treasury. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you. Enter into prepared blessings. Let me pray for you. Multiplied visions and spiritual experiences. Hear me. The spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing. I tear that veil now. I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying no every utterance is backed by the throne I'm not speaking as a man when God calls men he backs them And that every door you must enter in this season because we advance through the entrance of doors i speak to that door let it be open for you now let it be open for you now indeed it will be said about us that we are a people that the lord has helped marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus father we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace we will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan we will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace I may be a young man, but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see. I want you to believe. You have taken all the shame. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all the pain. You've taken all my sorrows. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my sufferings You've taken all my tears You've taken all my weakness Nina Yimaka Nina Yimaka Sujana Nina Yimaka Nina Yimaka Don't don't sing I'm praying for you You've taken all my sadness You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my limitations You've taken all my poverty You've taken all my dishonor You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my limitations You've taken 
taking all my struggles you have made let me yours you have made let me yours you've taken all my sadness you've taken all my tears you've taken all my sorrow you've taken all my weakness You've taken all my struggles You've taken all my fears You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my mountains You've taken all those mountains You've taken all my mountains I give you I give you I give you my highest praise I give you I give you Lord for everything you've done in my life Lord I give you I give you I give you my highest praise I give you I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to the power to prosper, the power to prosper, I release it from the depth of my spirit. The Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence. Honor is a mantle, it can be put on people. I decree and declare. That everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace, right now, as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. Take it now. Take it now. Strength, honor, grace for influence. I know our time is gone but just pay attention you are receiving something that will change your life I decree and declare there is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise there is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere I prophesy to you let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces encounters of angels encounters with the realm of the spirit i open you up to a portal in the realm of the spirit begin to have encounters from today receive visitations receive visitations receive visitations visitations of angels visitations of the spirit visitations in visions visitations in dreams May they bring you revelation. Listen, a lot of the impartations I've received have come to me in visions. Well, literally in visions, I receive impartations. I have met with the saints. The spirits of just men made this is not diabolism i have received from men in the flesh 
what I've received from men in the spirit I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit every mantle every grace that must make the supernatural begin to walk in your life receive it right now in the name of Jesus Everyone in ministry here from today, I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders. Strange signs. A performance. A performance of the world. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone here. Called into the area of business. Called into the area of finances. Or anyone trusting God to lift you there is a grace that establishes men I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen I've shared with you the story I don't talk too much about myself Hallelujah. It was last year, right here. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine. I never saw it once till I got it. There is a grace that empowers men. You better believe it. I stand here tonight in the name that is above all names. I prophesy to you enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your certificate, enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your job, enter into prepared blessings. One of the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection. There are many of you, the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that place. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today, I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, water to shame may help arise for you. The last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed. Some of us are too slow. And it's not just by God. Something that will take you two days will take you six months. It's not a testimony again. I want to prophesy speed. He must land on someone. He may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. May somebody here carry this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Hear me, whoever fights you in the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I don't know what has left your life. You are crying till now. Because it looks like when you miss that thing, you miss everything. Shekos kata. 
Mantes Calabria Tacososia, Jebreze Sutosco Maria Tacata, Ebreze Sekete Keteke Rekete, Rekoto Shopokoto, Ebratas Calapa Shadia, Mareke Tosco Teshekete, Ebreto Koto Perekete. Everything that left your life in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy. I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. Hallelujah. And for everyone who is a worker in this ministry, in the name of Jesus, I decree to you. Let this be the season of extraordinary results. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, ushering, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now. Bodily now. Bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands. Because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Now, wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. 
right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone Trusting God for a job. The hands that are lifted. In the name of Jesus. The same way they are lifted above your head. That's how they'll be lifted above joblessness. In the name of Jesus. I release jobs. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that fail be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed will silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace 
that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you you have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ I listen by the rod of a higher priesthood and i declare that voice is silenced forever silence forever in the name of jesus please hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the kind of favor that you need for your assignment i stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and i command your life to continue to receive it in the name of jesus christ i speak to the spirit of death i command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare whether in ministry whether in business whatever area of your life i stand by the grace of god and i declare walk under open heavens walk under open heavens i speak open heavens for ministry open heavens for career in the mighty name of jesus christ i for those of you that god will honor to be in the ministry i strengthen your hands make maximum impact by the spirit signs and wonders the accurate communication of the word of god in the name of jesus christ i declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation in the name of jesus christ regardless of your background i forbid you from being ignored in the name of jesus christ everything that has refused to walk in your life by this grace that you have received i command it to begin to walk in the name of jesus may your eyes be open access to illumination by the spirit i declare that the holy spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ i command that the graces are located for your offices may you step into those graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water everyone is allocated to a spiritual family this is a tribe and a family and there are possibilities that come with this family every grace that has been deposited by covenant signified by the angel of his presence may it work for you in the name of jesus may it work for you in the name of jesus i command that it works for you in the name of jesus and I will multiply them they will not be few and I will glorify them they will not be small I speak that prophecy over your life 
in the name of Jesus Christ the last prayer I will pray for you for is the gift of man the grace the Bible says the Lord sends the word but great be the company of them that publish it I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west that every project every advocacy that your life proposes may men rise up to support you in the name of Jesus Christ you will become an epistle of the wonder working power of God in the mighty name of Jesus and father I pray even for these ones and I decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience the kind of results that follow submission the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones in the name of Jesus I declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of God the Father the name of God the Son and the Spirit I decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of God in the mighty name the of grace Jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life I speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ I have set before you an open door. I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now the grace for strange signs and wonders wonders of the spirit may that grace come upon you now may that grace rest upon you now Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to descend the grace upon your life. I compel men to descend the hand of God upon you. I compel men to descend the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. 
the wealth that comes by prophecy i speak to your life carry that grace now 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 i command your bands to be filled with plenty i speak wine and oil to your treasury in the mighty name of jesus christ the kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them legislate on behalf of the kingdom may the grace for that favor rest upon you enter into prepared blessings let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing I tear that veil now I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying no every utterance is backed by the throne I'm not speaking as a man when God calls men he backs them And that every door you must enter in this season because we advance through the entrance of doors I speak to that door let it be open for you now let it be open for you now indeed it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped marvelously helped like Uzziah in the name of Jesus father we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace we will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan we will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace I may be a young man, but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see. I want you to believe it. You have taken all the shame. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all the pain. You've taken all my sorrows. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my sufferings. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my weakness. Nina Yimaka. Nina Yimaka. Sujana. Nina Yimaka. Nina Yimaka. Don't, don't sing. I'm praying for you. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my poverty. You've taken all my dishonor. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my struggles. You have made them yours. You have made them yours. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my sorrow. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my struggles. You've taken all my fears. 
You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my mountains You've taken all those mountains You've taken all my mountains I give you I give you I give you my highest praise I give you I give you Lord for everything you've done in my life Lord I give you I give you I give you my highest praise I give you I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper I release it from the depth of my spirit The Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence. Honor is a mantle. It can be put on people. I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace right now, as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. I know our time is gone, but just pay attention. You are receiving something that will change your life. I decree and declare. There is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise. There is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere. I prophesy to you. Let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces. Encounters of angels, encounters with the realm of the spirit. I open you up to a portal in the realm of the spirit. Begin to have encounters from today. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Visitations of angels. Visitations of the spirit. Visitations in visions. Visitations in dreams. May there be new revelation. Listen, a lot of the impartations I've received have come to me in visions. Well, literally in visions, I receive impartations. I have met with the saints. The spirits of judgment made this is not diabolism. I have received from men in the flesh, but I've received from men in the spirit. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, every mantle, every grace that must make the supernatural begin to work in your life, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everyone in ministry here from today, I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders. 
strange signs, a performance, a performance of the word. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone here. Called into the area of business, called into the area of finances, or anyone trusting God to lift you. There is a grace that establishes men. I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen I've shared with you the story I don't talk too much about myself hallelujah it was last year right here in three weeks God gave me a gold mine in three weeks God gave me a gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine I never saw it once till I got it there is a grace that empowers men you better believe it I stand here tonight in the name that is above all names I prophesy to you enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings into prepared blessings beyond your certificate enter into prepared blessings beyond your job enter into prepared blessings one of the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection there are many of you the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that place. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today. I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Quarter to shame may help arise for you. The last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed. Some of us are too slow. And it's not just by God. Something that will take you two days will take you six months. It's not a testimony again. I want to prophesy speed. It must land on someone. It may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I'm praying. May somebody here carry this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus, speed of performance. 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 Hear me. Whoever fights you, in the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I don't know what has left your life. You are crying till now. Because it looks like when you miss that thing, you miss everything. Jacob's kata, Mantes Calabria Tacososia, Jebreze Sutosco Maria Tacata, Embrace Sekete Kete Kere Kete, Recoto Shopo Kotos, Embratas Calapa Shadia, Mareke Tosco de Sekete Kete, Embreto Koto Pere Kete. Everything that left your life. In the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. Hallelujah. And for
for everyone who is a worker in this place in the name of Jesus I decree to you let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, or shrine, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now. Bodily now. Bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands. Because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus please lay your hands on your head I pray father this will come mighty on some of you a baptism of the spirit of wisdom receive it now in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it now now wisdom in business wisdom in career receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. Right now, shekatatata, reketeketa, everything that has died in your hands. I don't care what it is. I'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now Hallelujah.
every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life not once jesus your jesus touched the eyes of a man and he said what do you see this is the word touching a man's eyes he said i see but i see men like trees jesus said nonsense he touched his eyes again and he saw men clearly if he if he was left like that listen we want to we want to destroy the spirit that abort complete miracles so the miracle starts in your life but never finishes have you seen people like that it starts in your life but never finishes in the name of jesus because according to scripture if the hand of zerubbabel starts a thing that hand should complete it i'm praying right now every miracle that has started when elijah saw the rain like the feast of a man's hand it didn't stop as a feast it became an abundance of rain therefore i declare what you have seen like the feast of a man's hand it must come to completion in your life it must come to completion in your life so you get a job but they say you need an interview you pass stage one you pass stage two they even give you small pocket money and you are happy it's almost as if you are employed then when the final list comes out your name is not there a lady sent me a text crying that a gentleman came and paid her dowry and ran away what did he do he paid her dowry and ran away it's better that that lady were never married than the one that you gathered people they paid your dowry then he ran away let me say it again the bible says he that has begun this good work except it's not a good work what my god has started in your life in the name of jesus it must come to end pray for your family that in the name of Jesus whatever has brought pain to your family whatever has brought shame whatever has brought distress right now I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit we come from different families and we know the various challenges that we left from our different families therefore I prophesy to you right now in the name of Jesus that every challenge you left from your family let that challenge be turned into a testimony now let it be turned to a testimony now let it be turned to a testimony now now let me prophesy a very serious prophecy for you everything you saw from january that god vowed with his integrity in the place of your retreat he showed you things you know it's not guesswork you know that god told you certain things but you have not seen it come to pass i release my faith with you and i command october to deliver the result for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah everyone who is in ministry here I want to pray for you whether it's an evangelical ministry you are a missionary you are into a prophetic ministry whatever is making it to not work or whether it's a prayer group a fellowship i stretch my hands i strengthen your hands in the spirit fresh fire upon the work that you do in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone in anger who made any pronouncement over your life it could even be your biological parents i stand here by the privilege of the prophetic and the apostolic and i declare that that statement is erased from your life those in business i pray for you 
I decree and declare the spirit that brings fruitless labor you labor so much and yet nothing comes to fruition I cast that spirit from its root now let me pray again in the name of Jesus that everyone trusting God for a miracle job I don't care how long you have waited in the name of Jesus the name that is above every other name I speak to you may the Lord surprise you the Lord is showing me a medical doctor that an appointment is coming for from Abuja one of the hospitals in Abuja as I just prayed this prayer I saw it in the spirit we establish it now in the name of Jesus Christ someone nobody has ever truly applied for a visa and gotten it in your family it belongs to you and the reasons are oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh The talents, the gifts, the grace, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Let's sing it two more times and then we'll rise up and pray. Hey, it all belongs to you. Let's rise up. Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1 verse 32. And in the evening, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and those who were possessed with demons. And all the city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases. And cast out many demons and permitted not the demons to speak. Because they knew him. Acts chapter 10 from verse 38 says. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good. Doing good, bringing breakthroughs to lives, causing men to experience the reality of God's life. Tonight you will find a consolation for your Christian experience. God is not a self-centered and wicked king. It is true that you serve him anywhere, but he can take the pain away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And tonight my father will visit this place. There will be a convocation of the spirit. Mm, I know this. I know this. He left a witness. Lives will be changed. Burdens and yokes will be broken. There is power in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Ah. There is power in the name of Jesus there is power and it's in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every to break every chain There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. 
begin to pray. Visit me tonight. Go ahead and pray. Lord, the time has come. Visit me. tonight goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit in this place father in a mighty way in a mighty way in a mighty way change lives change destinies let their be an unforgettable encounter let sick bodies be healed let sick bodies be healed let sick bodies be healed, let sick bodies be healed. Let blind eyes open, let deaf ears be unstopped. Let the yoke of darkness over your people. Let that dagon that oppresses people. Come on, pray and say, Lord, visit me. Wherever you are, inside and outside, something will happen to you. Hallelujah. Listen. Every time the presence of God shows up, listen to me. Every time. Every time the presence of God shows up, he goes to the root of your situation. God is not a foolish person. While you come to him for headache, the problem may be typhoid. And he goes straight to the point. And brothers and sisters were stepping straight into the business of the night. And were trusting God. Mm. Oh goodness. Now I see these angels. I don't see this angel all the time. His name is Zion's help. Listen, listen. I think in my whole life I've seen this angel only about three or four times. And every time he comes, there is massive breakthrough. I see the angels of the Lord in this place. I see mighty warrior angels. It's okay, it's okay. Ushers, it's okay, please. Let the people sit, doesn't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Lift your hands, everyone. And let's worship him because he's about to change our lives. My goodness, I see mighty, mighty warrior angels. The northern army of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion upon strings can someone please play strings keyboard is who is playing strings that flowing sound please just follow me forget about professionalism now just follow follow exactly just do what i'm telling you to do this is under the influence of the spirit we have done well we have ministered let us flow with the anointing 
Hallelujah. There are families that are tied down by all kinds of yokes of darkness. God didn't send us to play games or make a name for ourselves. He said to comfort all day that mourn in Zion, to appoint unto them that today is your day of liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So pakataya. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three Go fresh today. Now, now, I command those powers. I command powers inside and outside in the overflow. Right now, right now, Marco Pocotosh, Embrekete, Shoto Prosketa. In the name of Jesus, I command judgment. Judgment. Every altar, every yoke. Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Soto to 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 to, makata pres, sopo seke, engrata ta ta. No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete. Soto kota, mande brakata. Olekete brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus, Zika, mande kabarokos, skatade, ambratele bondo sukai. In the name of Jesus, I want those outside to shout that name, Jesus. And there are people, I see chains, chains around people. At the count of three, those outside, the Holy Ghost is going to visit families. There is fire that will fall outside. Are you ready now, those outside? One, two, three. I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. 
Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Because you must return with a testimony. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. He is mighty to say forever, author of salvation. He will conquer the grave. He Let's sing one more time. Savior, he can move a In the name that is above all names I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God may you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. You don't have to bring them out. Just, just leave them. You don't have to bring them out again. We're out of time. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to thrive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names. May you hear the voice of his majesty. As you sleep tonight, may you hear the voice of his majesty. I pray for every bond here who is experiencing stagnation. You are marking time and instead of you to make progress, you are not moving. By extension to every family. In the name that is above all names. The Lord told Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to move forward. I prophesy over your destiny. Move forward now. Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus that embargo is lifted now by the blood of Jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters I open your marital doors now in the name of Jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. 
because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus the anointing that distinguishes you Manto kaparata legata. So take a teleke boshia. From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them, please. So that they don't preach. Be distinguished now. Shekete pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me, there's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when God speaks there must be job in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever your job is I don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in Christ therefore I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now Limitations I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost Limitations be broken now Be broken now Be broken now Let the power of God Break every limitation now Hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing 
come upon you now favor with men favor with God favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death or earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakato bosku brindigitabalar in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place i pray for you 
let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the Bible said, let her walk speak for her at the gates. I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you. Let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every struggle in any area of ministry, we call it to end now. In the name of Jesus. And anyone who is in ministry and you are confused, you really don't know where you stand. You don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor May God give you wisdom. May God give you favor. May God bless the works of your hands. Therefore, I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God gives you wisdom. God gives you ideas. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah everyone here who is trusting god and is saying lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying lord if there was a way i can turn the hands of time i prophesy to you there is a god that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of god we call back that opportunity to return in the name of jesus christ we call it to return in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my god arise for you <laughs> And that everyone who has laughed at you and said, where is their God? In the name that is above all names, that God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. Now hold on. We see from God, everything must be done according to pattern. There is a spiritual pattern. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Strings, Mike, has come to us 
Spirit of the living God, we submit to your authority. You are able to change. Give us an experience. Hallelujah. Please pray. We are praying. Most high, most high, I lift you up, most high. Yeah, yeah. I call you Lord, most high. I lift you up, most high. Call him most high. upon the throne I truly hail you most high you're the lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne I hail you Madonna Hallelujah. Father, tonight. As a people that you have chosen, we submit to your authority and we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everything that does not carry your image must leave tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Would you open up the gate? Open up. 
at the door. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the gate. Open up the door. Spirit of the living God, there are sick people in this place. There are families tied down. There are people who have come from all over this nation. They have not come to see a man. They have not come to see man. In the glory I will stand. I will stand and lift my hand. It's in your glory I'll receive Every miracle You have for me It's in your glory We will stand We will stand and lift our hands it's in this glory can you hear me we inside will and receive what did i say marriage is a blessing every miracle the bible says therefore for this for shall us. a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become one flesh but the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families but right now i said right now he said one more plague and pharaoh will let you go lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to count three every spirit that is responsible some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep to sleep with you at the count of three i like you to shout i am free there will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the lord it will hit many of you especially ladies are you ready now one, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay. I open up your marital destiny now. In the name of Jesus. I open up your marital destiny by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Shake it. Fire is burning in this place. Shake it. Mekoto soto tete. Makepekete. Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay. Is over, over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity, and your life partner has not come 
or men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come and see their thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door right now be open in the name of jesus 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 fire fire is falling fire is forcing doors to open up fire is forcing doors Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selena. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says, who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands. And the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed. Nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus. Womb be open. Right now. Womb be open. Now. Mommy return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl. Baby girl. Look at me madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out! Now! Out! This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take it, take it, Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody, just stand. Miracle babies, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
miracle babies return with your testimonies hallelujah madam go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house it has reached lintel level but nothing more again this has been for years who is that the Lord is showing me something please come look at me look at me wait uh -uh. I will know if you are the one all of you look at me the power of God will come upon one person that is the person but I'm going to pray for you for coming out no problem don't worry even if you are seated I just want to minister directly all of you look at me Lord you gave me a sign right now whoever that person is let the fire of God come in a mighty way now I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact every demonic thing keeping that building as I lay my hands on you I tell you finance will come from everywhere building projects building projects God is visiting in the name of Jesus supernatural testimonies some of you before the end of the year before the end of the year the hand of the Lord will bring resources come madam you came out for building but what God is going to do is more than building you are a very good woman hold on where is your child they are at home three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year wait madam let me tell you first number one there will be radical financial shift in your family I've not even touched financial issues number two number two this is what is going to happen what do you do what do you do yo? I'm a teacher you are a teacher I see a lot of favor I see you this woman is a very good woman very good she say amen a very good woman you can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You are a businessman. You do not even know. But you are a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? Civil servant. You are a civil servant. You are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here, this is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and He wants to use you. Wow. Shebakata palata bakata. 
Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side. Outside, please. Please don't miss it. God answers prayers here. Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a, is a, is a, is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague. And Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Hold your hands together. The power of God is moving from these two ladies. And it will move across this room. And there is a separation. And it's on only ladies. Only ladies. Right now. As I lay my hands on them. It's happening across. Certain ladies. The fire of God will just come upon you. Let it be done now. Now. Now, 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 the vistas of eagles for ladies, Shikai Dika, Mande Kepros Kotoba Dikata, Shakatatataba Katabana Dadaba, Zoto Protos Kupandi Kariadaba. Only ladies, the Holy Spirit told me, only ladies, bring them out. Deborahs, I call you from the realm of the spirit. Deborahs, I call you from the realm of the spirit. I call for Deborahs, Deborah mantles. I call them forth from the realm of the spirit. is peeling over outside outside i'm seeing a cloud moving outside the borders are catching the fire of the spirit please lift your hands there is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now lift your hands father as many of those people right now right now right now it's going to come as fire i see liquid fire in the spirit go ahead and shout jesus once one to go receive it the healing anointing the healing anointing the healing anointing receive it now inside and outside receive it now by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost someone hold shade Hold Shade so she doesn't fall. Hold her, but the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a scary because it has always been there. It has always been there. 
three of you hold your hands ken kenya i promise hold your hands look at me in the name of jesus take it now by the power of the holy ghost step into new levels new levels of the anointing new levels of the power of the spirit new dimensions in the spirit I'm going to pray for you. Hold my Hold. hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Already mighty things are happening. Some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there. Hallelujah. Please, everybody, stand up. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes. Okay, he's still praying for them. Ah, okay. Please, quickly, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please, while you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible, but you're saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible, do the impossible. Come on, pray, Lord, change stories. Thousands of requests all over the country all around the world my god change stories make sure you are praying lord we lay hands Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come to order. Let this request change your testimony. Shakata 
Shakata prakata kata bana da bosh. Shakata prakata kata bana da bosh. Rakata tata, rakata tata tata. Maka prakata bana da bosh. Maka prakata bana da bosh. Rakata tata tata. Rakata bosh. Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request. And I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20 20, he said, Believe in the Lord. And you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets. And you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel. Now arise. Oh Lord. Would you come. To your resting place. You and the ark. Of your might and let us rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness we celebrate your love father in the name of Jesus Christ We pray right now. There are thousands of people. Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you is happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two, prayer requests are being answered supernaturally. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Jam, jam request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let I every prayer like request here. coming on my head. And ah, for yeah, those yeah, streaming yeah, online, yeah, yeah, yeah. I change it to be testimonies Please now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. 
believe in the Lord and that and which is established will share the fourth believe in his prophets become testimonies and, shall and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give God thanks it is done hallelujah please as I speak I want you to believe it I want you to receive it while I pray the Lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as I speak the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking all I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to hallelujah every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see i cause that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two 
three. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Alléluia. Alléluia. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up. We're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Believe that now. Believe that now. Shake it, take it, take it, Believe that now. Believe that now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop it's eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 now, 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 now. Anyone here looking for a job or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you 
May that anointing hit you now. Take it. Take it. I command miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. In the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it doeth prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here, grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem, because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem, Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three. Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you 
let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it hallelujah you will never be the same never be the same never ever be the same you will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid hallelujah now listen to me inside and outside please remain standing everybody many of you have come you have heard the word of the Lord you have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst and I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ the Bible says they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore I want to pray for you right now you have struggled Jesus Christ can give you rest both in this life and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to Jesus some of you have given your heart to the Lord but you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying Lord let this be the beginning of a new time I want you to leave your seat I'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside God is speaking to you one appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come Keep clapping what they have tonight. There are lots of people outside. God is speaking to you. Three. No matter what you have done, God can give you a new beginning. No matter what you have done, stop struggling. There are still people sitting. Keep coming, keep coming. Koinonia, keep appreciating them. Hallelujah. Now, those remaining, join us quickly. Make sure you join us quickly. Join us quickly. Don't let any devil stop you. Join us quickly. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For God so loved you, that he gave his one and only begotten son, that if you will believe in him, you will not perish, but you will have him everlasting life I salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now I want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a Bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your Christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life I like you to shout it very loud say after me Lord Jesus I am a sinner, unable to help myself. But this night, I have heard your voice, and I come to you. Save me, help me. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from today, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm born again the Spirit of God is at work in me my sins are forgiven I am a brand new man Satan I denounce you and all your works from today I am a child of God forward ever backward never in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones in the name of Jesus Christ, preserve them. 
by the power of your Holy Spirit let their salvation be genuine preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I break the power of sin over your life I break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you in the name of Jesus you are free I declare you saved by the Word of God begin a new Christian experience in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now congratulations I salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now I'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly i want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia they are coming hallelujah thank you so much for coming mommy thank you my mommy is here hallelujah praise the lord now please join us quickly if you are coming from outside join us quickly this is the koinonia you've heard about hallelujah god is doing mighty things in our midst we're here every friday this was a special venue our regular venue is cgc hallelujah praise the lord your life will never be the same never never be the same god will do more than you are bargained for in the name of jesus we want to pray and prophesy upon your life and I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia an anointing will go with you what used to be a challenge for you you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already the lord will go before you and grant you rest in the name of jesus thank you so much for coming we love you from the depths of our hearts keep growing in the word of god hallelujah i like you to follow the ushers just this way they will direct you they will have your details and welcome you We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI. You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Parenting Network International, duplicating the fullness of God's life and earth. Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, it shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 
now hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do hallelujah Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing, a snake. Out, out of her, that devil of darkness. Now, now, now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out, come out right now. Out, 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 come out, come out right now. Out of her, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out, let her go, out of her now. An army rising up. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Out. showing me a very big fish like a whale this is what I'm seeing to break every chain break every chain now at the count of three you are leaving this lady never to return you know my voice one two three go go right now out of her out of her now lay your hands on her back out now now you're going by the fire of the holy ghost madam Please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? Don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you are. Look, wait now. Just leave. No, it's you I'm talking to. Forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? I'm a, I'm a secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing. I'm not seeing. I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We are going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out of her! Come out of her right now! Out! 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost! She's going to cough out something now. 
Take her outside. You believe that? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. Mm. Zeta Pakarosa Prendede La Kata. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his, the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope tonight. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Since when? More than what? It will end this night in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Now, devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. Now! 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 Mental spirit out of her right now. The Lord is revealing something to me. It goes right now. Take her back to her seat and keep checking her. I'm seeing a woman. They diagnose you of fibroid. Please, let's hurry up. You came here. It's part of your prayer, your list. Not a young lady, a woman. We need to end it right now. We need to end it right now. A dark woman, you are putting her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Come. It would disappear now. In this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold it. Hi, bro. It's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her now. A spirit of darkness, your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way.
in the name of Jesus you are leaving her now you are leaving her now your reign is over shake it the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you lay your hands on her out now you're going the mighty name of Jesus Christ I see you in the spirit there is no hiding place the light of God exposes you and you are living now in the name of Jesus just keep your hands on her how can a young man like this be so oppressed please lay your hands on him let me pray for him now let him go now the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see many of you let me explain to you what is happening it is not about the people some of them is the families that they represent this is the whole family being set free it's not even about the person are you hearing what I'm saying The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. You had an accident. How long? It's July. It's July. And from then you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But it didn't heal. It didn't heal. This is demonic. Ah, huh? it's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be is supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they, did they try to work on it for you? And it has, you cannot walk without this thing. Completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you? With all your heart. This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be, but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Here. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, really. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around, turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus.
Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The front door is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before you could not lift it